Hello, 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 friends. How are we all doing? Oh my goodness, it's been a bit. Welcome, welcome. Happy, what day is it? I don't even know. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, it's happy Monday, right? I think it's Monday. Let's see, who do we got in here? Been a while. Back from my trip. Trip went really well. Nice seeing some family. Having a little bit of time off. We got Jackson in here. We got Zintendo. Jojo. Family Reyes. Uh, Cynthia, Cynthia, I forgot what you, your other name is, if you can remind me. Emily, hello, and B. We are going to be doing TVs today. We're also going to be watching uh, the first ever Platoon 3 professional tournaments. The top four teams from the Goblets. Oh my gosh, wait, it started. Oh gosh, oh gosh, we got to go to it. That heavy splatling that Ice is using. The crab tank could have finished off one as they get the final shot there. And you Maybe also it's been talking. There, that wave breaker. That's going to give them some extra added advantage. You don't have things like ten missiles right now. Calling These are the, the two top and that's where the wave teams, I believe. This is this, this is a placement final. match. You see that suction bomb going there to claim a little bit more territory, trying to cover some more ink and nine. Here comes the encroachment, and you see synapse here. Turn off my other background music back. here. Yeah, but it's only synapse there, as that was going on. Everybody else had gone down, and look at this again. Curious what they weapons they're picking. So well here, you've seen Biscuit go to this exact spot, rotate back to the middle, and now look at that. Slider shot, slasher. Giving each other high fives as they go about, and you see the advantage is for okay. Star Burst just over a minute left. Four on four on the map currently, and at this point here, shiny. You see the killer whale five point one coming out. What can Super P do to get some momentum? First of I'll all, still keep saying hello to people here, Wilder. Well, <laughs> it's also one of the only ways to target the enemy team with your reticle. But we also saw the triple ink strike come out. That was the slosher, and that's one of the best things that you can have in the last minute of a turf war match because it gives you great coverage of the map, especially when you're down. Are they doing now, turf? Biscuit, out the oh, you know what? They are. They, the these placement matches are going to be turf, and then um, the later matches are going to be ranked. So we're going to get our first view of the actual like changes to the rank mode, and I'm sure we'll get uh, more details as well. Shadow Ninja, Inkling, Zebby L. I'm going to keep saying hello to people as well. Under 30 seconds left. Brand one on one gets one. Here it comes, Brand, trying to approach a little bit closer, trying to pick off Taco, trying to move away to the side, get splatted in. Zach Welcome back, Skinkly. It's been a while. It's been a while for me, too. I've been gone for a week. <laughs> Queen Kitty, hello. Last few seconds here, oh my gosh. Looks like Super P maybe won this. Starburst, Starburst is the uh, top team here in the US. I'm hiding it. That is why you don't give up. You see the look of disbelief on their side. I think very I cool, very cool. And their screams all the way from up here, and there's about 20 rows of people here. Mystical, we welcome. The last 30 that matter here, that entire time. Really, you didn't even know it was gone. Where do you think I've been all week? <laughs> Treshawn said that. That's right, that's right. Welcome back, Treshawn. That's what I thought, but I. And they did not look back. <laughs> Johnny, it really felt like when Brand went down, that's when things collapsed. We're almost to 900, it's true. We aren't going to watch the whole thing, so we're going to do private battles. Um, basically, we'll see how my, how often the matches go, how fast it goes. Usually these tournament things, you like do a match, and there's like 20, 30 minutes of downtime, so I was I was playing on doing PBs. In Splatoon 2, for all of us to hang out and play. So that gives Super P so much more. Oh, there, Adam. Adam, you hate the spoilers? Oh my gosh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the spoilers. Not not spoil people with it, but we'll talk about the situation. I got spoiled, too. What does the teal one say? Uh, other team was Super P. Yeah, it's especially with the way that the game had been going. It was all Starburst that entire game. They were pushed back. They were rotating around. So whenever you as a team are able to deal with that. I'm still catching them on, on and lose confidence and say, here. just need to get one or two down and then we can execute our Trishan, you sent a friend request you had to switch your account. Username is TJ the DJ. Ooh, I like that name. Super P steals one away from Starburst at the end and... Now Super P one on one Starburst. Oh, they, they must not either we missed a match at the very beginning or um Jackpot next and every boss type spelled. Yeah, let's let's make sure we're not mentioning what the spoilers are here. In case people didn't get spoiled. 
really taken on before I intend to take down all the videos. Moment, but we're gonna meet our when will the next Minecraft stream be? I'm not sure, Squirtle. I gotta... <laughs> I gotta figure out the rest of the schedule this you week. Know, this I can only stream this week. Um, basically uh, Monday through Thursday. Good. I'm gonna try Friday I'm evening to do a uh, Splatoon you know. three launch day stream with you all, but it's gonna be like six p.m. Pacific, so it's gonna be Perfect. late. Well, I know not everyone's gonna be able to play. participate, I'm but that's the only thing that I can make work with my schedule this weekend. Unfortunately, okay, we're gonna we we're gonna swap away from this. I'm gonna keep it um, going on in my ear here. Going in with a ton of confidence, and I feel like if you don't have that, then you're going to get. And ridiculous. we're gonna we're gonna go to some gameplay here. I feel like I may need to pull this all up in another browser or something else so that I can. Um, you know when they go back to it. It's really give me the gift whenever you can. Yeah, no, I'd I appreciate the gift. <laughs> the Minecraft gift. It must be good. You seemed very excited about it. Was I right that it's an enchantment? I don't know. What else it really could be here? Let's let's pop into the lobby. <laughs> Feels weird being back in the Splatoon 2, honestly. <laughs> I haven't I actually oh wait, I got something to, wait, 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 I, I gotta show something off here. I did something. I did it off stream. Look at there. For those of you that have been watching the channel for a long time, you know I never have completed the Splatoon 2 story mode. Well, Splatoon 3 coming out was enough uh, inspiration for me to do just that. So I finally, finally beat the final boss. I won't say it. I don't want to spoil anybody on <laughs> Splatoon 2 that's been out for five years. I haven't beat Octo Expansion yet. Maybe maybe I'll do an Octo Expansion stream sometime this week if I have time. Probably not. <laughs> not sure why... I'm not hearing audio in this other browser that I want to hear audio from. If anybody else has the uh, tournament up too and sees that it comes back, I got it pulled up here, but for some reason the audio is not working unless I have it up on stream. So, in case I miss it coming back. I'll come back over. Uh, I I had done about, I'd finished about um, I think it was about three fifths of the way through the. My laugh sounded different. Oh, I I think I'm the same. <laughs> Maybe something got messed up with my audio or something while I was gone. Maybe I hit a button. I don't know. Zebdl, you're ready. You're ready for some. Some battles. Love the enthusiasm. I'm ready for Splatoon 3 battles. I'm a little stuffy. My allergies have been really bad. So lobby here. Code is the same it usually is. 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, I gotta accept three shams and new friend request. If anybody else has a... No. Friend code. Or friend request for me. If you're not already friends with me, something. <laughs> Send me a friend request. Fishy fish. Hello, fishy fish. I got the French on here. Squirtle, the heat makes you sick. Yeah, Squirtle, I saw that you shared that on the Discord, that the heat has been very, very heaty, very hot where you are. <laughs> Thank you, Cookie. Hello, hello. How are you doing, friend? Welcome back to the stream. Let's see, who else? What are the other two teams here? We got Cerberus and Super P that we just saw. Then we got um, Jackpot. And we got uh, the Bad Titans, who I think are also called FT Wins. 
looks like they may be getting ready for another match. So maybe we watch the next match and then we, uh... It's really unfortunate that I can't hear the... <laughs> the audio unless I have it up on stream. I think I messed something up. You got Nintendo Switch Online, Trishan. Let's go. Do you hate spoilers for anything? Yeah. Yeah, so my plan for everybody, um, a lot of people got spoiled on Splatoon 3 story mode stuff this week. I am going to be streaming the game a day early on Thursday this week. But I'm not necessarily planning on doing any story mode anything because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um, I'm just planning on doing multiplayer. Uh, I'm going to be streaming a lot. I'm going to start streaming at 7 a.m., I believe, which is when the game should be available for me to play. And then I'm probably going to take a break partway through the day. Then I'm going to stream some more. I'm probably just going to be doing only multiplayer on my Tuesday's Game Run. I'm going to be checking out weapons, checking out maps, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and then at about, I think, 5 p.m., I could be wrong. It may be 5 p.m. It may be 4 p.m. my time is when it hits midnight in the UK and EU. So I'll probably do some PBs with folks from there if folks want to. Not PBs. We'll do pubs, but um, play with, with viewers. Well, they are going to another match here, so we're, we're going to come back over to the tournament. I think, I think. Days, a lot of the feedback from the nope, is this is not it. As as you know, I'm so confused. My own opinion of the Splatfest where I was like, oh, the splatter shot. Oh, my stream is a little bit behind. Here we go. Cubbies, as Jack so adroitly put it. So here we have. The opponent that they're not expecting. And already shiny, we see a tent umbrella coming out. Oh, wipeout! Yeah, I want to honor. Right Jack at the beginning of the match, oh my goodness! Very big on the tent umbrella being a huge thing. That's another. Mad one Titans versus Jackpot. It's also the only weapon available. So the other two teams, I believe, were the top two teams in the Inkopolis Showdown, which was the event that was about a month ago. The two and two. She fishes center for Nurgast. Okay. Already for the Mad Titans nine. And it's amazing in that first 30 seconds. I didn't even get it, Fishy. Game plans. Jackpot immediately built up the attack to cooler, ran forward and tried to push them down. Meanwhile, the Mad Titans had built up two specials to counteract, and they are rewarded with the first wipeout. And be cheering for Jackpot. Now letting that Tenta Brella just go ahead and move forward and create some space. Plenty of options here right now for the Mad Titans. Playing a little bit more defensively here at the moment, Shiny. All four specials at the ready. They end up using the Tactical or the Triple Ink Strike and also the Splat Duelies as well. Their four special is going to come out and it's going to be the Ink Fact. You can see how condensed the fight is. Oh. It's going to be two members down there for the members of Jackpot trying to force them all the way back. A couple oh my goodness. Go down. Token going to finally clean things up, but that was not easy for either team. Token with the double splats. And Interesting weapon choices here. I wonder. Titans on the map at the moment, just under a minute 40. I'm going to have to rewatch this later so and hear that. Like what? If they interview them all and ask them about weapon choices. Yeah, they've done such a great job of sticking together, kind of a little jab and poke style of gameplay, and this is what they've done. Jackpot and zap. Splat. Charger. Splatter shot. Right there, Jordan. Fifty-two. Four two. Jackpot. They're trying to Mad move. Titans, slasher. Splat dualies and zap. Brella. The Brella is an interesting choice there. To see from them here, I don't know if that player is. Uh, Brella me. Certainly no stranger to the special. We see a great shot there in the Trizuka coming out. The members. A lot of ink back. Excitement. Members of their team that are in mid, but they're not going to get very far. Is it's a three v three on both sides, and we have a. When you have a uh, ink back, I think is be a lot stronger in competitive with coordinated voice chat and stuff. Go ahead and take a look at Bert and Bert right now. Just then it is just in like pubs. Asiana, hello, how are you doing, friend? Bigger than trying to make a hero play here. Bert has stayed in the middle and been the stabilizing force for them in the entire game. Welcome, welcome. We're watching some of the uh. Not to get run up. Chu came back and was able to get a huge pick once again. Tournament stuff. We're also going to win some PBs here between matches. We might just do Turf War or something while these matches are all going on, just so it's a little bit less, uh, 
push. Shiny. Jared gonna have to do some a little bit less crucial if we're yeah, not, much can shut down Q there, not talking the whole time. Insane. Shorty, hello, hello. In fact, tournament meta, maybe oh, another team, team wipe. Is the juice bar enough at the end from the tactic cooler? We shall see. Yeah, ta tactic cooler definitely is meta. <laughs> I think tactic cooler might get nerfed. It's so strong. It basically buffs everything here. Jackpot for the dub. Let's go. It's been unable to tell who was truly in control until the last 15 seconds. And that entire game, Bert on the Tentabrel had been the stabilizing force, letting the other members jump in. As soon as Bert went down, the floodgates opened up. And what an incredible victory for Jackpot. How about Jackpot down the stretch? We mentioned Jack the Cooler is one of okay. the specials. Every team is going to run here, Shiny. And you Anybody else for our BB? Yeah, I don't think we'll be using that name skin claim. How's it going, Jojo? I said hello to you at the beginning of the stream. I don't know if you heard me. <laughs> that team really hit the jackpot. Oh, but <laughs> Okay, let me see here. Let me see. Fish, fish, I didn't see a friend request from you. I got no friend request, friend. Is it possible that you broke some rules and got blocked? It's really you're heading out. Really, you think competitive gameplay is boring? Oh my goodness. TBG, welcome back. Hello, hello. Yeah, we're just going to pop it. We're just going to do some turf wars while we're watching this stuff. And I don't just want to leave it on <laughs> on fully random. I want to at least split up our prestige, folks. So we're going to do or four PBs while we're watching the um the tournament between between and during matches, I guess. We got and bees are only prestige, but Zintendo is eighty five, and I think was a higher level than that. We'll split up those two and we'll leave everybody else on random for now. Oh. Whoops. We had uneven numbers there. I should have blocked myself. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. If I can get somebody other than uh, somebody other than NB to sit out on the alpha team. Maybe you'll sit out. That's gonna make that team's on balance, but <laughs> if nobody else if nobody else will. It looks like they're on, this is a good time for us to start because it looks like they're on a bit of a break between. So those were their placement matches. Then, match one loser versus match two loser, match one winner versus match two winner. Also turf four. And then they make seeds from all that. For their semifinals. We want some dark humor. We, we It depends how dark. We do have some community guidelines here against anything... Um, graphically violent, not family friendly, etc., etc. So, if it's anything like that, please, please don't.
concern again about the unbalanced team. Hopefully someone from the other team, the blue team here is sitting out. I gotta make sure I got this. Turn them up! Uh, I have this all set up kind of a weird way for me. <laughs> Doing my best. Remember, this is just regular turf war. Um, as always, please no spawner base camping. I forgot to say it beforehand. But that's always the case here. Oh no, disconnect. Disconnect on green. Sorry, appreciate you sitting out. Uh, let's let's not make that joke, Skinkly. Again, we also have some community guidelines about like not. We don't want to be kind of respectful to everybody. We don't want to be ableist. We don't want to say something that might offend somebody who might be differently abled than us. We want this to be a happy place for everybody. Yeah, I already deleted it for you, but... Go check out, uh, Skinkly, go check out those uh, community guidelines down in the description. They are on the... Get a disconnect on blue. Oh, that's probably fine then, because we had uneven teams. Zuri, if you want to fight... <laughs> Feel free. I haven't played any multiplayer <laughs> Splatoon in like a week. I gotta, I gotta practice. I got a big week ahead to be here. Like I said, I did do some story mode. Finish off story mode for the first time ever. Uh -huh, and D, get me with that brush. But their semifinals are best of five? That's a lot. It is all the new maps. I think they can repeat maps, but they can't. Usually they do Nintendo tournaments, they can't repeat modes until they've done them all. GG's, GG's. Blue team with the dub there. Let me, I realized they didn't select their ink colors and do all those kinds of things. Let me do that. I feel like my mic does sound a little bit weird. <laughs> Not sure what that's about. But they are getting into another match here as soon as... Eh. Eh. On that charger, the splatter scope. But Ice again has opted to go for the heavy splatling, which is going to have the sprinkler great for capping the zone, as well as the wave breaker, which allows you to see where some of the enemy team is hiding. And already, one very important mechanic here. You'll notice that when you hold the zone for a period of time and the opponent takes it back, you do have a slight amount of penalty. Look that you will similar. Have to your way through, meaning that it's always better to get the big. You definitely have a, uh, a shooter meta going on here. Shot. And Milana right now, Jackpot looks very for the most part. The way they're playing. They certainly do, but you know, you really can't count out Starburst. Starburst always plays very calm-headedly. They are there, and you know, we see it right here. They're taking the zone back from Jackpot just at least for a little while. And Zach, we talk so often about the lockout phase in this particular... What, are my, what is my favorite game, Pidley Ray? Is, um, I always don't like picking, like, one favorite thing. I like so many things. <laughs> Everything we play on the channel is definitely in my favorite games. This channel and the second channel. What I play the most of. 
zone if you want to. Platoon, I play a lot of. Multiple benefits because of that. And even despite that, Bran continues to do slaying for Starburst. Yeah, Leafy, a very, very bold play there. Trying to get Bran as they dropped onto it, but Bran very quickly was able to get that punish. You see Bran continuing to go attack and runs right into two members there. Madison Jarrus going to get the punish. And once again, they have not been able to crack this defense, Milana. Truly, uh, Jack Plot is really playing their best game right now. And, you know, they're going to have to be very careful. Hello, Foxy. Uh, but, you know, with two down on the map from uh, Starburst, three down now, it's going to be it's gonna be a tough one for Starburst to come back into. Yeah, you saw there as we have Ooh. a Your friend may join us. Sure, yeah, yeah. We, we do swap and the and mini games. So I ask that people do you saw that be listening to the stream. To get a couple shots there and got punished for it. Now, look at this. We are just going to be doing um, for four for the most part. I think while the tournament is going on, just because it's a little bit easier to swap back and forth. We'll do another, we'll do one more, uh, one more Splatoon 2 minigame stream before, before Splatoon 3 comes out. Well, I'm I am going to continue doing Splatoon 2 streams. We'll probably do one every week or two. I know about 20% of the people. At least from our poll. I'm not getting Splatoon 3 right away, so I want to still be able to accommodate those people. But it is going to be a little Splatoon 3 heavy here. <laughs> Especially for the first week or two. And you get the sense this is really their last opportunity here. They've melted through that penalty. Just over 20 seconds left. A big play has to be made. There is a Trizuka here. Starburst. Brand's going to need to make every single one of these Struggling. shots. Struggling. Can they take the zone? It's a fight. It's contested. Will Starburst take it? And they do. A penalty and some breathing room, Zach. Man, once again, we mentioned that the Ink Zuka is so difficult to use. That Trizuka, you really have to fire up all three shots in order to get the most out of it. But even just the presence enough. It's something you finally pre-ordered. Finally, Jackpot off of the zone. Giving Let's Starburst go. Finally, some breathing room. And more than breathing room here. They finally Did you get, get physical or digital? Scenario here. The difference. You can see how far up she was already moved. She's trying to get a shot off onto somebody. Counter specials coming out here. These points are starting to tick away very quickly. Jared could make a play on this side. Oh, Starburst down, catching up here. Going out and the points are ticking away, Milana. Digital is. said that though. Okay. On a, I am getting both, this, but... You know, Jackpot's gonna really have to play their best game to get back into that zone. Another fight over the zone. How is it not gone yet? They managed to hold all throughout. Ice has moved up. Another two frontliners going down. Leafy needs to stay up. Special's coming up. Another wall. Just a few more seconds. Five. Can they push in? Special's coming in. Two. One. It's contested. This is an incredible comeback if, if Cerberus is old. Oh. Can they hold through everybody shooting? And I don't oh my gosh. A little longer. <laughs> I'm running out of breath. And Jackpot takes it. Jackpot holds through all, and with one wow. point left, that's a huge penalty they'll have to work through, Zach. Man, the counter in Zuko, tries Zuko, was so strong there, and you saw Ice backed into that tiny little corner of the splat zone, doing everything that he could to stay alive with that heavy splat link. What are the, uh, what are the pluses underneath the here? Tentacles of the Killer Whale 5.1 make their mark for Jackpot. It did change a lot of the rank stuff, uh, with the way that the... Brand needs to find someone here. You see Bagel pushing Scoreboards up work for everything. This is a huge mountain that Starburst is going to have to climb here, and that's if they can even take the zone. Eight seconds left. They've done what they need to thus far, but now everybody going down could be big. That's two down. He was going to pull out the ink back here. They're holding. They're fighting. People are going down, and we are in overtime. We are, and you know... With the oh, my gosh. Kicks coming out from Jackpot, Starburst is going to have to play their best game. They are holding on to that zone. The penalty is ticking down. We are going to see the best of the best right here fighting out for that zone right now. A, a huge the gas from the audience. Oh my goodness. On this penalty, you can see the overtime tick at the start. They're going to continue to hold and fire. No room for error at this point. Two specials going down. They try to push. That's three down. That's a full wipe. Wipe out. And Jackpot GGs, will GGs. take game one of this best of five. And yo, oh my God. Yo, if that this is, is going to be a series of five one, with, with these same teams. Like, and this could be the other. You might not have any more breath by the end of this night. Penalty is in Splatoon 2. Um, maybe maybe not much change in Splatoon. Um, 
had moments where they really worked that lockout phase of the game. All the other members were trying to come out of spawn, and when the game is 10 to 11, clearly they both did it. But throughout the course of that game, you got the sense. Yeah, so this is gonna be a series of five between those two teams. So, you know, it's still anybody's game. <laughs> That was an intense Blood Zones match, though. For sure, for sure. Okay, we're going to get back to RPB as well there. Chatting away here. Anybody else going to join us? going to split up. Well, I guess we got even teams. We'll just go. Let's split up. NB and Zintendo. Do they have a list of teams somewhere? It's just... So it's the top four teams from um, the Inkopolis Showdown event from like a month or two ago. So it's Starburst, Super P, um, Jackpot, and Mad Titans. Who I think are also known as FD Wins, but I think they changed their name or I'm not sure. <laughs> so just those... This is a very small event. They're all North America teams as well. Let me see here. I feel like I want to swap up what I'm playing a little bit. Keep it a little spicy. <laughs> By that I mean play what I play all the time. Oh my gosh, they're going like almost right back into another thing. It's like tower controls next. I won't pull up their... Uh, We'll keep doing RPBs, but when they have matches going on, I will have their their audio and stuff up on the screen. We'll get to see for tower control, we'll get to see how it works with the checkpoints here now. It should be interesting. Oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> we got a meme team going on here. We need Tatiana on this meme team. <laughs> I think they're getting ready to start, but they have not started. <laughs> You want to see the changes to Clam? I would definitely see them. I think it's it's eight for the Super Clam, and I think they changed the way that they spawn as well. Here, they're starting their match, so I'm gonna cut away from our game. We'll keep going with our games, but the teams are gonna get should be into starting the here in just a sec. Come on, crowd! I know you've still got a lot of energy left. This is only game two. Come on, we're going to be going with our first match of Tower Control here in Splatoon 3. As the teams load in, surprise, surprise, we've got the blaster, Zach. As if by magic, both teams deciding that the shooter meta is enough and strong <laughs> enough to bring with them. Technically, <laughs> shooters with splat lanes. That are available today, including the ever oh, I guess I got one charger there. We got one charger. The blaster with that new ability intensify action, on Jack Pat. Too good to pass up. Again, you're going to see a fight here in the center. So again, this this is the uh, semifinals is a series of five matches with the same teams so we had a jackpot win the first one definitely and you know especially on this map we do have these overpasses kind of on the left and the right sides of the map and with this mo this mode tower control um we see that first checkpoint is very close to the center of the map so it really leaves you kind of in a vulnerable position immediately here they're trying to attack the center but ice has been over at this side it's hard to play and watch it <laughs> i'm gonna probably rewatch this later so the way starburst is attacking night and day from that last game you see they're going to try to shoot up there thank you all too i didn't i didn't even make any light goals or anything I think the wave breaker is a great I'm out of um, well streaming practice here. <laughs> After my week off. But, it's one of the few but I appreciate you all getting us. If anybody hasn't already, if you can get us to 25 like height. We're pretty close. Thank you, Kiki. You're going to play some turf? We're just playing turf if you want to play with us. But also understand if you just want to do pubs. I was about to say that they still had good control of the middle of the map, which would allow them to 
maybe set up a good defense here. Now, I'm not so sure. Look at this positioning that Q is taking, Milana. Yeah, Q is really pushing up and making it very difficult for Starburst to make that pushback. Q being a strong, incredibly strong charger is not going to miss her shot. Blaster going down here. That was their lead attacker here now. Q has moved up here with this ink bat. It's going to be that much more difficult for them to push. You see Q going to fire it, and Brand needs to be careful very <laughs> cleverly was on the other side of the tower and will survive. Q is going to get run down there. A successful defense this time by Jackpot at the start as they've once again traded blows, Zach. Yeah, again, a lot of the fight is still taking place in mid Very right close match in our, in our third really form. Excel at being able to peek over these kind of Lolo team does walls. get the dub, though. GG's, GG's, bubble hoppers for, for the dub. Even before you see them <laughs> and their location. And Milana, as we have kind of a scrum in the middle here, so often the order of operations... Zerian's in Nintendo playing much better than me. Where is their charger and what can I do to get... Bad at multitasking. Here? to pressure Q has been important. <laughs> she has not moved from that spot since this push started. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to hang out for a bit. If anybody else does want to join us, we got a PB going. Lobby code is the same it usually is. 5, 6, 7, 8 are top secret lobby code. They've done a great job here once again of getting back to mid. Two minutes left on the clock here. Biscuit going down. move myself up here. Where I normally am. That is in range. A flight coming from this side and Q moved around. If someone can get over there and assist, they might be able to do it. This is a good spot for me for Splatoon because I don't hide any of the UI. And Jared for good measure. Man is going to try to attack. But I think that this is going to be a delayed wipeout. Another successful defense for Starburst, Zach. You know, something that we haven't mentioned about... I'm missing all the checkpoint stuff. Punisher on their clothing, which for a sniper is great. Just, just juice, down juice down bar. Fresh juices. So that's going to delay the time... Set up on the tower. Spawn, but unfortunately, <laughs> if they go down, that's also going to delay it for them. Oh, wipeout. Well. There's a lot of team wipes going on here. Coming in from Starburst on the other side. Starburst Super fun that that's in the UI. Here, one of the best attacking teams in all of Splatoon 2, and they have clearly shown that they can do it here again what if they three. accidentally find a glitch oh my goodness can you imagine out of that power position they're gonna try to hold mid here and honestly milan it looks like they might almost be content to simply leave the tower here and not try to push for more than they can get and you know what that is totally valid it is a great strategy that if you know that you can keep control of that middle and you're in the lead who's to say you need to push anymore here we go. One minute left. The tactical are out. Two people are going to grab it here. You get the sense that this is the big push. They have the big bubbler as well that they'll be able to throw on this tower if it comes to it. We've said so much about Q, but Ice on the other side is going to fire Madness off to try to take out Ice there. Needs to be careful, though. That's the big bubbler gone, and that was a big, big gamble, Zach, to try to get rid of Ice. You know, if you're Ice, you look at Jackpot and you see, okay, they're kind of moving like a school of piranhas. They move together. They. It's very rare that you can pick one off separately. You thought this was me playing Switch like Oh my gosh, I wish I wish Sims. Hello, by the way. Now we're watching a tournament here. Multiple hits on multiple enemies to allow the rest of your team to finish them off. And this, the final 20 seconds here. Every time that somebody goes down, it's going to be that much more difficult. That's two down with just about 10 seconds left. Biscuit is going to get taken down by Q. Well, you're going to see Bagel's shark around here. The wave breaker is down. They're going to put as much damage as they can on the tower. Q is up there with the ink back. This is how it starts, but with just one second left, Bagel tried to steal the game here and hold on a moment here. That's one down. Biscuit is by the tower. Can they get to it? Ice no, goes on no, that, it. that'd, that'd be really tough to come back from. <laughs> Even this set, 1-1, one, one, Milana. 1-1. One, one. Just an incredible game. We noticed Let's a lot of really cool before we... things that was happening. I, I I'm back and start our next. Anybody else want to get in here? We need one more person for even teams. For our third force. Obviously, Starburst knew exactly what they needed to deal with. Say to see clams. Yeah, and I love the way that Ice was positioning there. We talked so much about Q there. Ice was sitting on the grating on the left side of that map almost the entire game. And I feel like all the new specials, like Act the Cooler and Clams is going to be so strong. We've been talking about it since Splatoon 1. The mobility I think this is the Pinky Cookie. There and being able to go on that grading, we knew In our lobby? Power position and Ice really proved it to be true. Let me see here. Gonna split up some more folks, I think. <laughs> this is a good event though um a lot of times the nintendo events are super slow moving oh well, that's weird I don't even know what that is. 
Must be. I don't even know I have. Must be Steam or something. Epic Games? I've never streamed this way. <laughs> Rainmaker up next. Oh, Rainmaker also has um, checkpoints now. Gookie, you're still sick. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, let me get us into another match here. Split up and beat an ink cookie this time. And I'm gonna stick Zuri. Uh, we'll do this actually since. Zappy along. Shocking for our battle. Feeling a little bit better, Pinky Cookie. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Yes, that's gonna. Um, Nintendo has been taking down some of the. They're, they're starting more gameplay here. As we start our games, they're in like the same <laughs> same speed we are. In Splatoon 2, I think this will tell us a lot about these teams. And I'm sorry, was that a tri slasher? <laughs> that was indeed a tri slasher. Oh, it is a tri slasher. Right? Um, you know, the tri slasher is a really, really strong slasher. Uh, 52. New iteration of the game. And I'm looking for Double ends up. Or one ends up on each team. Right I mean, at least for the pros, it still looks like mostly a shooter meta, but... I do kind of wish we would have got a little bit more of like a stat meta switch up, especially for shooters. <laughs> like I think a lot of people were expecting we'd get like a little bit of like rework of all that stuff and if for the most part it's unchanged, you know, subs and specials are different on weapons and that's going to switch up the meta too, but... Try to rally the troops, Zach, but you love to see that response from Starburst. As a quick aside, I love the quality of life and UI change where you can see which player is carrying the Rainmaker on the screen itself. It yeah, that is nice. So well. on the top of that, we have are we trapped over here? Going down. <laughs> it feels kind of like we are. <laughs> able to stop that push, only one point of difference separates these teams now, and it's all because of the addition of those pedestals. And again, worth noting here for those of you unfamiliar, when you pick up the Rainmaker, oh, I guess that's one way we're going to get out. Not a bad weapon, though, <laughs> is this Rainmaker going to fire it out? Ice caught in a really bad position. I say, you don't know how to, whether to do online, but single player, or salmon run first on the ninth. I would probably suggest if, if you didn't already get totally spoiled on the story mode and you care about not getting spoiled on the story mode, I would probably suggest doing single player first. I'm going to do the opposite. <laughs> I assume, well, I already did get spoiled on a lot of the single player stuff from even just one or two thumbnail things that I saw before the Nintendo took them down. Um, just barely, Zach. It seems like so many of these pushes are hedging on just one or two of these fights going the opposite way. You know, at the competitive level, picking your battles is really important. Well, that's okay. I was kind of spoiled. I mean, for Splatoon 2, I was very spoiled on Satori as well because... <laughs> 
I knew everything that happened. I just finished the story. Oh, I think you missed that part, Tessian. I finally finished story mode in Splatoon 2 yesterday. Or today. <laughs> I did most of it yesterday, but I did actually beat the final boss today. GG's, GG's. On our battle. And I mean, it, it kind of unbelievable here the way that this I have low splat gone. games. Everybody's inking. <laughs> we were all kind of separated in different parts of the map in that one. Very close match here. Uh, only a minute left. Hold off on. Well, I guess we can queue. Anybody else going to join us for our PBs? Doing Terra 4? Your skirmisher and slayer players to get that ink ahead of you. But as the enemy team is coming back, once you're out of that bubbler, you're back out in the open. And the advantage of the sight line was in Jackpot's favor, allowing them to stop oh. that push. Wisely playing the Rainmaker there. If you jump the Rainmaker off the side of the map, it sends it back to center. And with just one member left, Madness on this 52. That was the right play. Madness goes down here. This should be the lead in a little more. Q gets a shot, but they are going to get it. Only four points, Milana, but it was just enough. I think Jackpot maybe went. Oh, never mind. A little bit of a stalemate. I think you know three points really could make or break the difference. Keep an eye on the top of the screen, everybody. It's so the close. special is going to be so so important here. You know that the members of Starburst are going to try to sit back and not make any unforced errors. Yeah, three points errors. now, the but <laughs> is at the ready. they're going to get it started with the inkjet. A Will strong push even in overtime, you could you could over here. overcome that, but. Fired. Here it comes. Did they wait too long? And they did. You oh. saw that the members of Starbrush were waiting back, but they were not oh, able Jackpot took it back. to call out how many points there were. They should get the opportunity here. They have grabbed it, and we will go into overtime. Keep an eye on the top of the screen. They're only going to have a little bit of time, and if this goes down, Zach, that is the end of the game, no matter where you're at on the map. Yeah, it's going to come down to Starburst. They've already gotten two picks, and the only ones left are the 52 in the end zone, but they oh, lose geez. in the last second. The last player alive was that end tap, and the end tap able to take them down. I believe that's Jared with the game saving play and Jackpot going to come away with it at, despite a pretty solid end push there from Starburst. And it would love what to is think this? a little bit about Orba. how that push that they were <laughs> able to get that took the lead went. You saw that Why they did they keep inviting me? I don't even Jet have Apex Legends. And protect that Rainmaker. We knew that was be a you can smack things in Thunder. Okay. That, Auntie, hello, hello. How are you doing, friend? It's so lovely. I think, you know, it just goes back to that localized special. You know, we, we, ha we have these specials. They're in the thick of the action. And, you know, they're using it to be able to protect that objective and to make that objective move. So it's I think it's a game changer for Splatoon 3. And, and we are watching, for those who are just joining us, we're watching the very first ever Splatoon 3 <laughs> row tournament. To get these four teams, these players here, whenever you get great and we're also together, doing some private battles on our own kind of if you want to join us for private battles send me a friend request if you're not already friends with me or if i had to unfriend you because i hit max friends um and i'll stick our lobby code there in chat as well the only mode which we have not yet played and that is going to be clam blitz which oh, clam blitz. has undergone some changes as i believe oh okay yeah, so let's listen to this actually because they're going to talk about what the changes really are you will note that it only takes eight clams now to build that power clam in splatoon 2 it took 10 of them now only eight and the pods around the map that they spawn in will spawn in in groups of three rather than groups of four so milana i'll pass this over to you so you're I gonna have to go to more blitz. pods some people love it some people love it less but what do you think that these changes are going to mean for what this looks like at the highest level? I honestly think that it's just going to be really chaotic. I think having all those clams spawn kind of in the middle of the action is really going to make a difference. And, you know, they're going to be fighting for those clams. Yeah, it's going to be, I, I think, a great danger here. And Zach, you and I even noted here when we were talking with the players yesterday. Okay, it seems like we'll do a 2v2 turf for, for I guess, on our own while we're by your spawn, which means that these teams are gonna build up that watching this. Unless you all want to sit and actually watch this and the take a break. I, <laughs> I kind of want to watch and see what Clems is like after with the changes. And yeah, so three for each of the pods the and eight for a Super Clam instead of ten. But when you actually get the push and you don't you're still gonna need three necessarily odds basically but you're not gonna have something like which is about the same but you might be able to pick up a clam that somebody dropped or something instead when determining when is the best time to push we have been told that it'll be mincemeat metalworks that we'll be going to here so everything they're doing all new maps which is cool 
going to be all the more important They're all here. the Splatoon 3 dedicated maps here. Very first look at Clam Blitz here in Splatoon 3. We'll just watch. We'll, we'll take a break here. here. All the same coming out from Starburst. Some slight changes here going back to three shooters here from Jackpot Milana. We, we really do love to see those shooters coming back for another pass for Splatoon 3. And we already see one member of Jackpot going down that early pick for Starburst, maybe uh, giving them a little bit of space to build those clams. And Zach, you immediately pointed to the screen when that happened. The way that Starburst attacked that left side of the map, you knew that they had an idea of how they wanted to take initiative here at the start. That's ideally the best pick you can get at the start. If they're not going to have a if Jackpot wins this one, it is over for this um, semifinals. It would be a pretty big upset for Starburst not to make it to the finals here. members that they can find, it's currently a 52v52 battle, as instead they opt to hang on to their killer whale, and it looks like Jackpot is waiting for the right time to push as they have slightly fewer clams than Starburst. Keep an eye on the clam counts at the top there. As Zach noted here, you will see 15 and 8. You can see the clams on everybody's individual. Also, there, I kind of kind of like what they do with the Rainmaker thing. Who is carrying how many clams. Yeah, nice quality know, of life. I wish they would. It doesn't a, look like they have the, uh, in Splatoon 2 competitive, there's a way that they can turn on splats and, and deaths. Two huge, huge splats here. Splats and splatted. It really seemed like the initiative was starting to go the other way. They're actually going to get a third there. It looks like the either they don't have that enabled here. But Zach, you get the or it's sense. not in the game. It was like a weird thing you had to like put in a, a, a more. code. Anyway, one more of these members in the center, then it could be it. But they might have waited wow. too long. When Q pops the ink back, you know that you as the enemy team have overstayed your welcome. Your anchor or charger player is one of the better players <gasps> to have that power clam on, and also one of the better players to hit 90s when they're making shots like that. And again, look at this. The push had finally started the other way, and now it's I say. This is going to be cramped. Can do, I can do better. You got one great shot. I'll get two. The mobility again of the Splatling going to allow I to survive. Did we plan this in the Splatfest? I don't really remember Keep an eye on the clam counts. playing on this particular map They're much. They're fighting on both sides. Another assist as these teams, Milana, just don't seem ready to make that first score. I mean, if, if they keep getting picks like this, I, I don't know if they're going to be able to hold on to those clams. Milana but because a lot of the... Um... Oh, and the one thing they didn't want to see, the blaster of Biscuit there. They thought that they were safe from the shooter, and they were. It's but a the lot of the Splatoon 3 maps that there. all look kind of similar, like with the bridge things. Have gone down and once again... These teams you played on, I think, you could cookie? Okay, I mean, I must have played in it then. <laughs> I played the entire Splatfest, so I played them all, but... I feel like I, this one was in the rotation less than some of the other ones, for sure. I'll go ahead and start our match here. A lot of tri streaming and Splatlings on this one. On the Splatfest, has it? No points scored yet. We're three minutes in. So punishment coming out the most satisfying sound in the game, Milana. <laughs> truly is. Um, but you really, this is just so much back and forth. We really don't, I don't even know what to predict at this point. I mean, again, you can see that they're pushed back here. I mean, this is kind of a regular clam blitz match, right? <laughs> no scores <laughs> until the end. No scores until overtime. <laughs> that seems to happen in my clam blitz. It matches a lot. Of, but I'm way down in like... Yeah, I think I'm in B something, B minus. But if you're not in the bubble, that can't do much for you as three go down on the side of Starburst. However, they're somehow able to return the favor and get three down on the side of Jackpot. It really is a tug of war. I mean, Brand may have saved the game right there. All of the momentum was going the other way. And Brand, with that 52 gal, with that splash wall, able to hold on. Once again, Man is going to be souped up here with this tactical cooler. They're going to try to make the push as we get to just one minute left on the clock. All four members right next to each other. They've stacked two specials. Make it three specials, Milana. This is it. They're going for broke. This is it. They're trying to make this push happen. The this is Jackpot is with the push here. Oh. Unfortunately, Jackpot has two down. Jared next to that Jackpot cooler was not able to, to make something happen with this clam. Maybe he can, though. Jared on a huge pick right there and now has the invulnerability of that tactical or runs forward and an incredible... Listen, you, you sneak attack the score. To push that aside. <laughs> Ice dancing in the middle with Madness gets taken out. Madness I don't know. In these pro games, I don't know that there's sne any away. sneak attacks working. 30 seconds left, Zach, with neither side <laughs> even having a power glam. I can't tell if Jared is trying to star in the Matrix or bend it like Beckham with those shots on the end zap. They were able to get around that block. 20 seconds, no score. 
And I want to point out, they swapped away from Respawn Punisher over to Thermal Ink, which means if they get tagged, they're going to be seen by Q. This is it. The Ink Back is right there. They're going to try to go over these gratings here. Can they find one more special to make this happen with? They're going to fire. That's two down. They're going to try to go on the right side. They fired it this way. Can I shut it down single-handedly? Jared moving, grooving, trying to come up here. There might be enough protection. Jared opts to go back, thinks better of it. This entire time, Starburst not even trying. Can Jared move through? He cannot once again closing the door. Over time, now, no score. Wait a minute. There's still no power clamp. This one's going to disappear. Someone has to win this game, Milana. Um, I, I, I'm so totally at a loss for words. <laughs> really, these, these, both of these teams are under so much pressure. This is overtime. 100 to 100. We really, the first team to score a power clamp is going to take the victory. Which one is it going to be? Uh, and this, uh, if we wanted to know what it's going to look like in Splatoon 3, how about this? Both sides give I don't know about the person spectating here. Why aren't they on the person with the power clamp? The They're going to try to score this power clamp. Jared, you see, has rotated all the way back. This big bubbler should provide Biscuit at least a little bit of defense to figure out how he wants to move in. They're going to stack here. On at least we have an uh, in game Biscuit replay now. There. Can they find a pick? <laughs> There's two power clamps here. It's Bran again with the 52 count. Is he going to be able to get both? He does. Wow. It's a wipeout. Oh, wipe can they find enough clamps? Bran Jack Five wins this heavy. This way you can see them spamming it. Hey. Can Biscuit get there? I'm just they kidding. I mean, Starburst. <laughs> <laughs> 2 2. Go very intense match here. With the longest series of matches. The history of Clam Blitz gets the victory. All of that time spent on the defense. Three Mormons if they don't the score. Of mine to grab that many clams to <laughs> longest Clam Blitz match, match ever. Oh no. Straight forward, Milana, and try to score. Instead, backed up. Brand said, "I've got to score." And cut back over to to us here. <laughs> I will go back over there, obviously, and we'll watch the final match. In that series, so whoever whoever wins the final match will go on to their um their grand finals. But there's going to be another ser series of five matches for the other semifinals to see who they're going up against. So the other one will be um Super P. And oh gosh, I'm forgetting the fourth team's name. FT win. I think that's right. I'm gonna have to um, unfriend our Corba here. Corba, stop inviting me. <laughs> I don't even play Apex Legends. <laughs> I played like one match ever, and I don't even think I'll the Switch. GG's, GG's, blue team. And Cookie was seven. Oh my goodness. I admittedly was watching this more. Okay, I'm gonna have to unfriend Corba here. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're going right into the next match. Okay. They go to tower control and also crowd. Come on. This is it. This determines tower control final. Interesting, semis. interesting. You know, I just think that tower control is something that you feel like you have the most control. It's in the name control, right? So I mean, you well... can't put it any better than that. And oh my gosh, Zach, you already pointed out double 52 gal coming out here from Jackpot. You know, the more things Double change, 52 the more gal? they stay the same. You know, two is the magic number. The score is or the Jackpot. Just, they should have meme teamed at that point, I think. And they're going to be bringing in that killer wheel. <laughs> oh, 52 gal. Twice, so is it 50, what is no the 52 gal have in uh, Both sides trading a member down. Ice is already down here. Ray. Important to note that's a really, really special. big pick. Now Bran is going to have to try to go back over here and punish again, getting incredible fall off shots. And now Bran, the other member on the map who's playing this 52 gal, going to go ahead and punish and push Q back in this scenario. Was looking scary there at the start, Milana, but Starburst riding the ship. They definitely are, but you know, still, we, we do see that Starburst takes, they do take that tower. And that first checkpoint is really not that far from where that tower started. Moving up here, watch out there, Q. It is Biscuit who's going to very wisely and quickly move up here. Another member is here. Hold on a moment. Brand's actually going to go down the punishment again. That's three down, Zach. And now this is the moment that the attack can happen. That's the other one going down, a delayed wipe. And where will Biscuit set up That's here? Clear In a great position to take this push even further. Bagel doing a great I job think they got the NZEP just for the uh, attack tactical cooler, cooler there. Max is an impromptu shield because it cannot be destroyed. So as you're hiding behind it, it even gives you a little bit of pressure if you're not sitting in that big bubbler. 
And I'm glad you mentioned Brian because Brian we'll watch this match rather than playing. I want to watch this. One, we'll wipe on. Fifty-two gals as Jackpot gets an entire wipeout. And this was the scary part that we saw so much in our scrimmages with these teams earlier. Family race, you so gotta go. No worries, no worries. Wipeout, we'll be streaming here for a while if you would want to come back later. I have a good one. What is Starburst going to pull together on the defensive side? Nobody went down with those specials. They were very patient and waited. The lead will change. Maybe you're scared of three uh, killer whales. Here, <laughs> they certainly are, and they're moving straight to that last checkpoint, and Starburst is going to have to really pull it together. Uh, but, you know, it's... Looks like uh, you know, they do. this strat may be working. Great job there. Biscuit was positioned perfectly with that blaster there. And you saw that the members of Jackpot were willing to maybe stay there a little longer than you normally would to try to get through that last checkpoint. Getting through that last joint means that every single push afterwards would have been that much easier, Zach. Yeah, Jared and Bagel sort of being the unsung heroes of these matches. There's always a tactical around when you need it. It feels like two people are playing that special, but it's really just one per side. As we see yet another killer whale going to go out. That's going to help target and find some of the members of Starburst who are dancing and dodging around, trying to build up specials. It looks like most of them are about halfway through and waiting for another opportunity to pounce. Three members of Starburst bunched up there on that right side. That means they're going to give up a lot of ground, and thank goodness Brand respawned in when he did. That was going to get nasty in a hurry. Instead, it's going to go the other way, but all your momentum slowed down for the ink back. Great shots there by Ice, who trades with the ink back. That's not bad at all. Two minutes left Starburst on the map. Starburst speaking the tower. Brand waiting to push up. Biscuit going underneath and not able to get there in time. Madness with another punish, Milana. And, uh, you know, I think, like we mentioned before in that earlier tower control match, if they don't have to push up, maybe it's not the best idea to not push up. And well, you see that Jackpot is really just maintaining that mid control and, you know, propping Q up on that the, the, the level above and being able to, like, see all, all the members of Starburst. I think is a, a great position for her. Identifying where you want to move on the attack. The quicker that you can get it done without communication, the, the more coolers. effective it is, Zach. These players so, Killer so whales good everywhere. <laughs> where they need to go before the time has come. Look at how narrow these hallways and pathways are. If you're facing three out of eight members in this I'm so map, excited for to play on these maps. As we see a oh double my gosh, this flat there on the side of Starburst, which will allow them to make what double they thing. hope will have to be their final push of the game on their route to a potential knockout. This is huge. You can see a immediately there on the top left that's where the attack came from last time that they weren't able to slow down this time they were able to get rid of one of those pesky 52 gals in the process brand is going to move up will they be able to find q here or will q hold on does oh. get it here and now still some more health is able to get the splash wall out they are firing ice is up there just a few more points can brand get back leafy goes to attack and ice holds it Ooh. this will be the lead going the other way three down a delayed wipe they're all moving in madness the last one who can get it gets taken down Q gets a double there. Biscuit moving up. Can Biscuit hold? Can Biscuit dance? Not able to. Bagel still there, but Milana with 30 seconds left. It's going to take essentially a knockout if Jackpot is going to pull this miracle off. They certainly are. And you know what? It's going, oh, going you hit to the really like hole. Thank you all so much for that. Together. They're going to have to coordinate those Killer Whale 5.1s to be able to know exactly where Starburst is because, you know, this is a pretty safe game for Starburst and they don't really have to move that tower any further than they did. And Zach, that was a very, very early... Huge comeback from Starburst there. They know that they are going to have to win essentially two fights. They were going to have to win to take mid. That has been checked off the list there. Another tactical lure down. This checkpoint's going to go very fast here. Crowd makes some noise here. A huge fight. One goes down. They rush the tower and Starburst! Takes it! Oh, GG, GG. That was teammates. awesome. Pop up. Look at the jumping around. <laughs> An incredible game five set, and you could not ask for a better set to start off Splatoon 3. I am honest. That was an intense, was intense um, semifinal series for sure. From Biscuit, that they were in for a long overtime, but the rest of Starburst came surging back. Right so Starburst heading to the finals, and then we're gonna have another series of five matches here between Mad Titans and Super B. So well, but we're doing our own PBs while we're watching these things. Headed to Snapper Canal for some her fours. I'm going to spectate this one. <laughs> we love it when teams celebrate hugging. It's so cute and nice. Oh my gosh, it is so wholesome. <laughs> now, I will say not all competitive players, voice chats, streams, videos super wholesome <laughs> the nintendo stream versions are <laughs> but uh <laughs> we'll, ha we'll have a family some family friendly competitive stuff viewing parties and stuff going on here i i really like watching competitive stuff 
There is also, if anybody's interested, um... I've never done it, obviously. I don't think I'm good enough. Maybe, maybe after our Splatoon 3 grind. <laughs> uh, but... There is a, uh... A low ink event. It's meant for people who've never played in competitive events before. There's a Discord and stuff for that. Um, and there's special tournaments only for newer teams. We'll see here. We'll see here on our, uh, Splatoon 3 grind. Maybe we'll put together a team on the channel. <laughs> I might have to be a cheerleader. <laughs> Moral support. Coach. Emery, hello. Nin Music, hello. Nin Music, you sent me a friend request. Let me, uh, let me accept it after this match and we can get you into the next one. Emery, if you are not already friends with me, check out the um, in message there and send me a friend request. Let me know what your uh let me know what your switch username is if you did add me if it's different than your YouTube name. Oh no, Tassiana, your internet cut out. <laughs> Tassiana, you're only rooted with them because their name's the name of the uh candy, I mean. <laughs> they are also the they have the most Splatoon championships. World championships, I think. Let me fact check myself there. I have it wrote written down. <laughs> I know it may not seem like I did any research or preparation for today's stream, but I did. <laughs> they are the five-time and current North American Splatoon champion. So let's go. We hit this. We hit the subscriber goal as well. Our next subscriber goal. We went. We we were here before. It's one of those goals that we struggled to hit. We were close, and then you know I think my break. People always unsub when I go on a break. Her four here looks like a blue team with a slight advantage, but you know, these final 30 seconds, anything can happen. Shout out to all our new subscribers, though. Welcome in. In music, your name is Kraken. We'll, we'll get Kraken with you in a match here in just <laughs> a few moments. But I am gonna, since we hit our subscriber goal, I'm gonna reach a little higher, dream a little bigger, and make that goal a little bit bigger. Oh my gosh. Blue team with a strong push further in their lead at the end there. Pulling out the dub. GG's, everyone, though. GG's. Let me get to these uh, friend requests. We got Kraken, and I think it was Alex. Can Alex give me a shout out as well? Is Alex Emery? So quiet. Without any background. <laughs> Alex, if you give me a shout out, I'll accept and you can join us as well. We got McKenna in here. Inkling. Is Inkling here in chat as well? A bunch more people joining us. Let me see. We are just doing regular turf war. Here while we're doing a viewing party of the very first ever Splatoon 3 professional tournament. We entered the Splatlands Invitational. We're, we're basically cutting over just when there's matches actually going on over there. <laughs> and we're playing in between. MLH, hello, welcome. I said hello to you earlier, MLH. I'm not sure if you heard me. Or maybe it was here. I think MLH shares their account with a couple people. Their sibling. <laughs> Okay, we're going to get into this. Um, Let me see. I'm going to swap a couple people, though. I'm going to swap 
I think Zuri and Nintendo, since those teams have been the same for a few matches. And I think we'll leave everybody else on random. For now, we can always readjust teams if we need to. Yoshe, welcome. How are you doing, friend? Happy Monday. Happy Labor Day. For folks in the U.S. I think Labor Day is only in the U.S. I could be wrong there. <laughs> Looks like we're going back over to another match of Splat Zones on the tournament. Here, and I think this is the second, uh, second semi-final, uh, bracket or whatever it's called. Seed? Seed. Labor Day in Canada as well, Andy. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, happy Labor Day to you, too. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us here today. We doing... This is going to be a long stream. We'll, we'll probably... We'll do some regular PBs and more mini games like what we usually do a little bit later. Once the... We'll see how long the event lasts. It's, honestly, the event's going faster than what I thought it was. We are going to cut back over to the next match in that, though, as we play our match. We got Splat Zones, I believe. Yes. Oh, somebody, somebody using a Slatana here. It looks like the... They didn't confirm this, or if they did, I didn't hear. Because it was while we were talking at the beginning of the stream. But, um, it looks like we just had the same weapons and everything from this Splatfest build going on here. We should, though, on, uh, full release, we should be getting another Slatana. We might be getting another bow. I don't know. That one, the other Slatana, the Stamper, the Chainsaw-looking one, is for sure in the release build. The other one is in there, but it has kind of a weird name. It might still be like a placeholder for a future release. The other bow. Speaking of quick weapons here, how about it? Zero, Mr. Maybe the other bow is a little stronger. <laughs> and attacking there with the splat duelies that he made so famous back in the early days of Splatoon 2. Zach, this is a very mobile weapon and it's got a fantastic hit. Diving in there and getting taken out by Synapse again. And we have absolute pandemonium in the center. Throwing a bucket of ink at my head. Even better in Splatoon 3. Obviously not when you're taking shots from a 52 straight to the dome, but otherwise gives you a lot of great mobility there as we see Zero taking down Taco. Going to be looking for a second one on a Synapse and they're going to use the roll of the Splat Duelies to get away. Trying oh to find goodness. the third. It'll be a slasher and they'll find the wipeout. Oh my goodness. Absolute domination there from Zero. It's like they never left. Like he never left indeed, and now it's going to be Super P's turn to try to figure out a way. They do have the tactical here from Taco, but where are they Revenge going to avoid this on both of my the people that fled me? Happy little double. And now the wave are going to do some damage here. But Zuri taking me down. That's another hit. They finally do get the tactical down out of necessity. <laughs> I'm commentating our match and not, and not this match because I can't really can't concentrate on all the things at the same time. Man Titan's head here. Seconds left. Synap needs to get this pick and does. They need to try to hold it. Token's gonna go down. They're trying as hard as Bert on the backside is gonna get another, and Cho is able to get another, and he is doing some form of thought there in the center. Just five seconds there. Juan has to move away, but a dominant victory. Really the first that we've seen by the Mad Titans. You can see them clapping, banging their chests, and they are ready for this set, Zach. I know, Nine, you were particularly looking forward to hopefully seeing a potential haunt or coincidental <laughs> dance from Juan Kyo, but that I feel like was you're being a camped. phenomenal performance, and it shows you how well-rounded this Mad Titan squad is. They, of course, have Sorry, Brothers and Nintendo. Definitely say it. I didn't see it until right at the end. Um, the first team to run something like 
It's tough on Verona. It's such a small map. But in music, you gotta go over, but you gotta eat. No worries, no worries. We'll be here playing for quite a while. And there is one player on the team that we have talked about, Zero. We've talked about Kyo. Bert might be Let's, the... Uh, we'll cut back to our gameplay. GG's. GG's, everybody. We'll keep doing what we're doing. Um, cutting over to them when they're in a match. Their match is going much faster than I thought. So let me see. Let me peek back at what exactly they're doing. In terms of their how they're running the event, I believe we're going right from this series of five matches. So that was first of five in the second seed, the second part of the semifinals. Um, and then after that, we should just go right to our grand finals, I believe. But let me pull up the page that they shared that had all the rules and whatnot. Anybody else going to join us? We went from eight down to down five here. Uh, we got one more person. All right, even. Three v three, maybe, maybe. If we delay long enough, they'll just start their match, and we can watch it. Sorry, are those oh, some it happened. That I'm seeing from zero now. <laughs> and you know what? Zero is. We got Rainmaker. Um, and you know, with I actually want to sit and watch it. We'll hang out for a sec and watch this. I didn't get to watch the last Rainmaker match. I want to see how the checkpoints actually work. And Juan, certainly an experienced Kent's splatter shot main from Splatoon 2. You'd expect to see great things from him. I'm a big fan. It just seems to do everything really well. It's a three shot kill. It's got relatively low deviation as we're seeing a couple of pickups there. As the members of Super P are trying to come back here. Leotos gets a frontal shot there. Mad Titans didn't win the last match. But they're only just barely going to be I'm surprised the uh, Super P person is using this. I mean, it's fun. I don't I, in this environment, though. We wondered if anyone would be able to make this weapon use. And finally, the reign of terror over here, but not before the first checkpoint falls. And Milana, when you have been pushed back like the members of the Mad Titans are, how do you go about getting some control of the center of the map? You know, you're going to have to send someone like Zero in to get some picks before uh, before you send that rest. Of the this team stamper, in. So having the chainsaw version. I'm sorry. That's coming out later. Definitely seems like it's stronger. It's going to be the first reflare that we see. Some more taunting come out of here, but guys, you do not have the lead yet. They aren't going to let the Rainmaker reset, or rather, they're going to try to grab it here. But that gave Super P just enough time. They had snuck him out. Do you have to do the checkpoints again if it resets? Squids are exploding left and right. I can barely keep up with it. I think you probably do, right? On the Rainmaker, trying to do what they can to wait until the rest of their members are here, which they are now. Not many specials built up, though. On the opposite side, Super P trying to hang on, but they lose their tactical or they're not able to deploy it. Nintendo needs to up their uh, stream bit right here. My gosh, this looks so blurry. Our streams look better than this. This is on high quality. And the ultra stamp gets taken out too quickly. That's another one down. Zero is moving through. They have the Nintendo tactical. cheaping out on their internet. The carrier that's going to be lead, <laughs> but they want a lot more. Token moving the reef slider. Is anybody surprised? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Points, that was such a close. Mad Titans so here. Close, uh, you know, Very really strong. Really game, Almost getting that dunk. Still Almost three again. points left. It is. Super P is really good. Careful. Maybe you, Listen, you think you'll play Spatana more once you get the gear, your gear together. Yeah, that, it, yeah, gear should help it for sure. Um, I think the that other version of it's gonna be a lot stronger than the wiper as well. Willing to throw themselves at whatever is. How's about a third? Everybody is attacking. There is no slowdown. JJ, hello, hello, welcome. JJ, looks like you might have just subscribed. Shout out to all our new subscribers, dude. Oh my gosh, a lot of new people joining us. We're watching the very first ever Splatoon 3 tournament. 
a nice double kill there from Burn, who is apparently just guarding up the West. while the rest of their team goes off to the side. And while we're doing that, we're also playing some PBs. So if you want to join us for our PBs, let me stick my friend code and the lobby code there in chat for you. If you do add me on the Switch, just give me a shout out in chat with your Switch username for me to accept. We're just watching this one, though. <laughs> and then we'll go into another match after this one's over. We have room for one more to even out the teams, though. <laughs> In RPD. Now they're going to try to use a couple specials just to slow it down. That's a dry zook, and I believe that's all three shots with the Rainmaker still being up. Now Leotos very close and now does have that Ultra Stamp. When will they opt to use it here? Trying to pester, trying to identify where the attack is coming from. Does get a hit on Kyo. Will they be able to close this out, this fight? All the while going away from the Rainmaker. Everyone is rotated over. It's a party here, and Leotos not Ouch. able to get it as Token is able to The stamp is not as strong in, like, on this side. super high level uh, competitive from what I have heard. Board. One of the nice things about popping your special is that it actually completely refills your ink gauge on the back of you. So even if you use the entirety and of it's your not game, really, once you pop nothing about it's really changed. Ooh, it going first one. A Tudos here performed, jumping into the water with the Rainmaker, not going to be able to do anything about it, but they are going to kill off What's the What's a reset then, right? We just have 30 no? seconds left to play. And Milana, this is a really rough spot for that Rainmaker to be a bit of a, you know, you take a swim right there here, but it almost works out even better because now they're going to have to take it from that side. So many avenues to attack. They're going to Did you wish you had Nintendo online? Oh, again, no worries. Continued attack. There was follow up on top Did you do the well. uh, Splatfest? Did you get the, you could at least play in the free Splatfest with the demo? Play. But as it stands right now, Abo, hello. Seconds, How are you doing, Let's friend? Three, Been a minute? Two, yeah, I was gone all last week. Once again, the Mad Titans continue their rampage. Mad Titans with another dub. Abo, if you want to join us, lobby code's 5678. We're doing PBs while we're watching this tournament here. Exactly. We're just we doing turf so war. Since that's like. gonna like low. <laughs> <laughs> we can swap back and forth really easily. Also, if anybody has not already, if you could do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, the like button on the stream. I'm trying to pull up my uh Pull up the event rules. <laughs> I have them up, but I gotta like take down the. Uh... How long is streaming to go for? Welcome in Ferris Barley as well. Uh, we're going to be streaming for quite a while. They are, we're in the semifinals right now. We got at least one more match, maybe, maybe two, maybe three. In the semifinals and then we have the finals. I had a friend request there. Let me accept that. We got a, a few. Caesar. Who is Caesar? Sir, so you do think the Rainmaker resets when you jump off? Yeah, that's what I thought too, but. If whoever these are want to give me a shout out, I'll accept. Just let me know what your Switch username is in, in chat. I'm still trying to hold these rules back up. Uh...
Ah, okay, I finally got it. <laughs> okay, so... These are best of five, and then the winners of these seeds are going to phase off in finals. Best of seven ranked modes, matches. I don't know who, who that person is. We got Rumor in here. Rumor, are you here in chat as well? We'll do, we'll do another match here. Oh, Zintendo has to go. Zintendo, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll be here for a while if you want to join back. Let's see here. I gotta rebalance our teams a little bit then. I think I'll try swapping these folks back, maybe. I think I'll stick. Oh, they're going to another match. So we're gonna ready up and play our match while their match is going on. And we see there it is, Zach. The blaster is out. The Mad Titan Kyo himself is hungry, and we've got a game starting now. We're starting to come away from surprises a little bit on the team compositions. The blasters are obviously quite strong on tower control with that big bubbler. The end zaps are a staple and a mainstay already, and the 52s with those walls, you can see the way that this map has an upper elevation and a lower elevation. However, this is the make them for our match. Room, so I don't know how much availability We're just doing regular turf wars. The killer will, uh, or sorry, the wall gives you a Unless you're on that tower. And Welcome great, back, family Reyes. You saw they immediately attacked the two members that tried to punish them, though. All the while, Token and the other members did a great, great job of making sure that that push couldn't get too dangerous. It actually looks like Super P opted to completely give up the tower there. Go back to mid and hold on a minute. That's another two down. They're going to be moving forward. Synapse, a player whose name we haven't called out that much. You knew eventually going to make his presence felt, Milana. And you know Synapse is one of the best players on the West. Is that, that 52 gal is really, really scary. And, you know, I Synapse, I do know, is a uh, 52 gal main. Already, Leotos going with that charger moving up here. They've got a couple of members on there, and there it is. The Alex, thanks, thanks, for, thanks for letting me know. Um, I'll accept the, quickly, after this match, so we'll get you in the next one. Shot, and now we'll tackle How are you doing, though, Alex? Very good. A nice opening score. That's that early checkpoint out of the way. Every push at this point will be a little bit easier, Zach. Yeah, you got a little bit of a preview into the set that we saw here on the heavy spot link. It's mostly going to be run speed, and this is the grading that I was talking about. You can't swim on it, but if you're a weapon like a spot link, it gives you a big advantage here as we see them get an assist. Oh, just one away from her. Big, big the subscriber goal. Building up any more specials at that 900. Point, find at least one pick as both I guess out. it's not the big, big. It's the big one. But not the big one. The big one is going to be a thousand for sure. Could happen this week. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, nice. Wipe out. Those of you just joining us, we are watching the very first ever Splatoon 3 professional tournament. Happened in PAX West today. While we're doing that, though, we're doing some PBs. We're doing some turf wars. If you want to join us, check out that pin message in chat. Send me a friend request. If you do add me, just let me know in chat what your Switch username is for me to accept. If you already are friends with me from a previous stream. Lobby code is 5678. Super P in the lead here. They need it. If, if they lose this one, it's over for them. That killer whale. I think that Zero actually led that into token. And how's about this? Leotos immediately moving forward. Synapse moving forward as well. Yeah, I thought left. I was out of the way of those. <laughs> in Splatoon 3, in in game, that would not, you did, I didn't see what happened, but the missiles took me out. Splatoon 3, the missiles mostly didn't change, but they're not going to follow you anymore. So once you uh, move off, they're going to help scatter people, but they're not going to. Uh, Caesar, hello. You sent me a friend request. 
Thanks for letting me know, Caesar. Sheep, hello. I look like a little hologram. Ooh. I'm living in the future here. Blue team, make sure letting the, letting us uh, out of our base here. Is there Zuri <laughs> camping out right outside of our base, wiping us every single time. Gigi, you're gonna get a new switch. Your cousin broke the joystick. Oh my gosh, that's too bad. Zuri, please stop spawning and base camping. <laughs> Still is a rule here on the channel. If you can't stop, I will uh, have to spectate you. I warned you a couple times here. That's what's really impressed me with Super P. It's another incredible Ooh. shot. That's a huge 60, 74, player. very close, very close. We've lost a minute left. Two more on the other side. It's just Leotok's going to opt to jump out. And it's not able to get out. Token closes it out. And look at this. Zero jumped in. Kill jumped in. Zach, they're all in offensive position. No lag on that one. That was the very last Alex, you're so excited. Oh, gosh. So, so excited. Also, the ink back that was charged along with that. That's going to be 60 for the members of Dashbot. But will Matt Titan be able to reclaim it? They're going to take out the charger. Wipe out. On top of it, they're also going to find a wipe out. The members of Super P aren't going to have any specials at their disposal. And on top of that, Mad Titan's going to be deploying that massive uh, Killer Whale 5.1 that's going to give them even more of an advantage at range. The snowball is starting to get bigger and bigger. They've attacked, and that's going to be it. As the Mad Titans will get the 3-0 victory. It took wow. a little minute to figure it out in that last that is, game. Uh, the shocking. members of Super P adapted incredibly well. And for the bulk of that game, they gave it their Super very P. best. But Ow. the Mad Titans' rampage is not done yet. Making sure that they don't lose their cool is, you know, honestly, something that I think, Mad right, Titans right? is incredibly good at. <laughs> to be able to make those calm pushes back. And, you know, they only had like 30 seconds left on the clock to be able to have that have that calm level heavenness level headedness i guess <laughs> I, i'm like having trouble talking there's just too much splatoon happening <laughs> there is a lot of splatoon and it's all been great let's go ahead and recap our action here let's take a look at the bracket because we have our final servers and versus mad titans in the finals the here for all of our competitors super p and jackpot will be on the sidelines watching the finals but zach I don't think there's a, lo a losers finals in this event, but in a lot of competitive events, they would then have the two semifinals teams still do a final match against each other for third and fourth. But today, they are vying for the top spot in a game that is coming out so, so soon from today. It's going to be just... Maybe you're gonna, not going to play, but you're going to keep it lurking. No worries, no worries. I appreciate the lurk. can't imagine how excited the folks are to get this game in their hands. We're going to throw it back you made a stringer, a tri-stringer first between three cosplay. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Also for... Thanks, everybody. I'm down on the We're going to cut back to our gameplay here. <laughs> For a sec, I'll cut back when they go to that. They'll probably give me a little bit of a break here as they prepare for their finals. The finals again are a best of seven. Starburst versus. I keep wanting to call them, wait, <laughs> one of the teams changed their name and I keep calling them by their old name. <laughs> Mad Titans. Who I think used to go by a different name. Okay, let me, we had some friends, some friends here. We got Caesar. We got Alex. I, I've been too distracted to go with everything going on with it, swapping between PBs and the tournament, but I like looking at what people play. We got Platoon, some Fire Emblem, some Smash, Metopia, Animal Crossing, Pokemon. Let's go. Ooh, you played all the way since the Splatoon 2 demo. And be here back from your five second lurk. How about you pre order Splatoon 3? It's waiting. You're waiting for it. Like it's New Year's Eve. If you if you do pre order digitally, you can already download as well. 
We got Alex here with some Animal Crossing and some Splatoon, of course. Fortnite. We have a whole second channel we play Fortnite on. We're going to be playing Fortnite tomorrow night, starting at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern time in the U.S. I think that's midnight UTC, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'll stick a link over there in chat to the second channel if you want to give us a uh, subscribe over there if you want to play with us. Play some Fortnites with us. We also play some Overwatch over there. But shout out to our new friends. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. We're just one away from uh, 900 subscribers. Very exciting. And riding a wave of a wave of a uh, Splatoon hype. <laughs> I think we got almost 300 subscribers in the last month, something like that, which is bonkers, bananas. I want to be here back in game two. Let's go. Yeah, they're, the tournament's on a little bit of a break as they're getting ready for their finals and stuff. Let me see here. We're just doing turf wars. Um, any weapons, any gear you'd like. We do have a few rules that are always the case here on the channel, though. Which is, no spawner base can be make sure you're letting the other team out of their base. Fight more in the middle of the map where it's more fair, more fun for everybody. Now here in Turf War, obviously, you're going to want to try to ink their base. But if you're just sitting outside of it, constantly wiping the other team over and over again, that's not fair. It's not fun. Please don't do it. If you want to play super sweaty Splatoon, go join a competitive <laughs> Discord or do some scrims or something like that. But we're just here to have fun. Let me see here. I gotta make sure these teams are still kind of even. Let's stick Caesar there and we'll stick Alex there. Yeah, ready up. Um, what are other rules? Oh, no spawner base camping, so make sure you are keeping it non-toxic. Oh, I just said that. <laughs> no squid bagging, rather. Um, so keep it non-toxic in-game and in chat. Ooh, let's go as well. We hit 30 like hype. Oh my goodness. Thank you all so much for that. Really appreciate it. If you haven't already, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, the like button on the stream. really helps support the channel, helps grow our happy little community. And I really, really appreciate it. Ghost, welcome. In music, welcome back. Ghost, you're about to explode or implode. Inkplode. <laughs> Inkplosion. Um, from Splatoon 3 Hype, Sames. <laughs> I'm kind of sleepy, so that may not come across. The excitement may not come across, but it's, inside it is a torrent, a um, a hurricane, if you will, just of excitement and hype. <laughs> I'm generally a pretty like chill, relaxed person, though. <laughs> oh no, we had a disconnect. Uh, if somebody from the Bravo team can, please, please, please. Sit out in the base. Looks like here. We'll pull this up. Looks like they're getting ready to do their finals. They're going over how the event is working, so we'll watch it here. But now we have added Mahi Mahi Resort and Museum Fonzino and they swapped out the maps a little bit. Added in some more choices, some of the uh rework well, Splatoon 1 maps. This is a map that has been slightly changed, but that we have been playing since Splatoon 1, and this was maybe the most. Again, we are just doing regular turf war. We do a lot of um in RPB. 
they know how they're going to want to attack when the lockout phase starts and more we normally do a lot of uh private battles mini games custom modes that we come up with here on stream together but because we're doing this uh tournament viewing party we're keeping it a little more low-key chill with just some turf wars today we are going to be doing um, more like chill and turf war level up with each other streams um, with Splatoon 3 launching because everybody wants to level up, unlock all those new catalog items. Looks like we got some splat zones going on here. Museum Delphonzine, though. I think I'm saying that right. And the fact that he's opted to pull it out right now tells you that this is the weapon he's been hiding all along. Bagel already hydrating the teammates with that tactic cooler. Zone is claimed early on. No Splatana. I think the Splatana needs a buff. I think, yeah, I think, that, uh, sort of play, Super P was banking on that Splatana. <laughs> I think it. <laughs> Maybe. Awesome the game. Moon, hello. Sorry. I <laughs> Between trying to watch this and, and actually play <laughs> in our own PB while we're watching this, it's a little bit hard to keep up with chat all the time, too. But welcome in, Moon. You can't join the tournament. Nintendo is running the tournament, and it was invitation only for the top teams from their summer event, the Incop Less Showdown. Um, but you can join our PB, of course. Lobby codes five, six, seven, eight. If you're already friends with me, as always, it is our super top secret that lobby code. Though. Don't tell anybody. Happy little double there. But it might cost me my life, and it does. Oh my goodness, Zuri! Mopping up, cleaning up, taking me out. 30 seconds left in our match. Starburst. That match is over already? <laughs> I literally blinked and missed it. <laughs> Those Splat Zones. Splat Zones can be fast. Not as, uh, Rainmaker is going to be slower now because of the checkpoint stuff. They weren't able to make it work in the same way they were that I think tower control sometimes can be very fast as well though. And claim the zone that early, but then to Most you're rooting for jackpot, you're not sure if they're game. still in? That is some top tier stuff right you know, you there. Often they did get eliminated. It was uh I believe it was there's really no need to be so bashful. Movie two Splatling doesn't even have Quite as long of range as some of your other anchor options, like the Hydra Splatling and some In their the series of five, and then so really, it was smart of Starburst. Starburst. Using that cylinder in the as a sort of defensive shield. <laughs> and Starburst pulled out the dub in the end. Was too much for the members of Mad Titans to push back in. And GG's, everybody. G G's on our match as well. Starburst. It took them five games. Starburst to deliver. We'll cut back over here for a sec. All there chit chat in between matches and we'll chit chat on our own <laughs> i'm gonna have to rewatch that one later because i literally like was just paying attention to our game for a minute what mini game are we doing we're just doing turf war just playing turf war since we're watching this tournament it's kind of a lot going on so we're swapping back and forth so turf war is a little bit more low-key <laughs> so this is the very for those of you just joining us or if you're not sure what's going on we're watching the very first ever Platoon 3 professional tournament. I have a little viewing party here. They're in the grand finals. It's a best of seven. Looks like the next match they're going to do is tower control. I do need a volunteer here to sit out in the VIP room and spectate with me since we got a very full lobby again. While we figure that out, if somebody can volunteer in chat, um, I'm going to cut back over there because they're starting the next match. Mad dash to the middle, anything you and we'll start our match I mean, the while we're watching. These might be the two best blaster players to got tower control here. North America, and they used to be teammates. Biscuit and Kyo, they're going to put on a show. Tacticooler ready to go on the onset. Go ahead and help your teammates. And B, you can sit out. I appreciate that, friend. Both teams four on the map. Bagel trying to move forward. Numbers advantage right now. Here comes 
another little wave and already nine they've done a great job of getting out to mid and establishing a little bit of control yeah i think they've done a much better job here and i think that zero moving over to the 52 gal is a big reason for that there's a lot more survivability with that weapon than there were with the dualies as i say that does get taken out ice is going to trade with kill here now again uh, token going to go down i'm going to swap over here and then i'm going to last member of the mad titans with anything to say and mad titans a really nice stand there zach midnight yeah, I think the here colors, you can see it's right in the middle of the map not only is it invulnerable, um, but for the other team, it's kind of a homing beacon. You know exactly Alex, where the Alex, other team okay. is going to group up when that tactic cooler is active, so you can hone in on that spot and get a couple of quick splats if you're fast enough. Here's I thought you were gonna go after this or other people can play. They get to the checkpoint here and they're making quick work of a nine. I mean a wipeout right there again. The mad titans just don't seem to be able to coordinate any attack. You're welcome to this hang out too. Okay, cookie, okay, you wanna be the VIP room? We'll get you in the next one. <laughs> now it's just Bert It's in the snacks. The VIP room. They're imaginary snacks. I forgot to mention that though. Oh my goodness, these matches are so fast. Starburst with another dub. 2-0. So you take the analogy that I had on Museum Dalfontino, right? You have ice on the heavy splatling, hiding behind the cylinder. Now shrink that cylinder about 10 or 15 times. That's what's in the middle of your tower and is practically your only defense when you don't have a big bubbler up. Ice was able to use and maneuver around... Oh, this is going to be the fastest grand finals ever. We'll cut to our gameplay here and I'll, I'll swap back over there once, once they start... Playing candy coated rocks. <laughs> Pop rocks. Yeah, Starburst on a roll. So they have to win. It's best out of seven here. So they got to win two more for Starburst to, Starburst to win. He dunks it at least. He's Starburst. <laughs> I'll save that one in case, in case the Mad Titans come back from behind and get, get the win. Then it will be a star best. One minute into our turf war. Looks pretty even here. Caesar taking on Alex. If any of the folks too that uh we had quite a few folks with very like low level accounts if you it is a smurf account and you had another account that's higher level if you can let me know that just so because i do use your levels to like help bounce out our matches um i go by splats and stuff too but and oh my gosh the new songs so so good those are the only leaks i want Forget all those spoiler leaks. Also, just FYI, anybody, this is a spoiler-free zone. So if you do spoil anything about story mode, if you saw something, don't say anything here. It's going to be a, a temporary ban. <laughs> Until after the game's out. I meant to have a bot message repeating that every few minutes, but I forgot. I'll have to set that up with this week, though, for sure. Um, same thing over on our Discord. Our Discord is also spoiler-free. Oh, the next match started over there. We're going to cut over that. <laughs> it's probably almost over. <laughs> and I mean, just look at the way that they did that there. Ice was leading the charge as the backliner there. They got center, they got the Rainmaker, and they went Have over there. Now, in front of the members of the Mad Titans, they were able to rotate over here. And Starburst some in of the, the damage, lead. But all the while, Biscuit's still maneuvering there. At and gets 70, the shot still pushing. Incredible. This attack is going to continue. They've rotated again, and Biscuit has now once again hit Burt. If Burt goes down here, that's really their best defensive resource. They're moving this forward here. These last few points so difficult to get. And Zach, we just saw Biscuit mow the lawn and obviously make some way for their team. At this point now already, you see Starburst getting the Mad Titans on the back foot. How did Mad Titans respond here? Well, they have to use that canopy more. That canopy is almost like a... I think this is a mosquito or a bug, right? not, a, not totally over, but... Speaking of attracting, we see the... It would be like comeback of the century territory here for Mad Titans. On top of the triple <laughs> strike, which... Who would have thought that 
a Slosher would be played in the grand finals of this tournament with its kit. Mad Titans trying to find a little bit of momentum. Right now, it has been all Starburst in this third game, just under 3.30 left to go. And right GG's now, everyone in our game. One coming out a pair of them here, nine. And at this point, for the Mad Titans, you mentioned it, they can't get that collective push. No, they can't. They haven't even gotten the Rainmaker to reset yet. Every time that sets have been about to happen, they've opted to try to fight instead. Now, thank you. We'll hold off in the match until the long. Is going to go off of the splash wall and take out Brand, so the threat is gone. They finally do have mid, but that took two specials just to get this. Ouch. Opportunity here for the Mad Titans to finally move the Rainmaker. They wait for the tent to cooler to pop up before they get a chance. Dan, and hello, still, Dan. Same issue, Zach. Just the oppressive Weird they got away during their seventh hill, yeah, and the, the, the super P that they were up against it. Um, of opportunities with those triple ink strikes that was the number two team, I believe, in the Ingopolis showdown event. That was the qualifying thing for this. Unfortunately, it's going to be a trade, and Mad Titans may finally have an opportunity to push. However, Token going to be the last one alive. They're dancing around the Rainmaker Free Zone. I don't know how they haven't nope. gone down yet, but finally they will fall. The music ends for Token, and at this point, for Starburst, it's just a matter of continuing to control the momentum here, Nine. And at this point, you've got the lead. What are you looking to do with over two minutes left? You're looking to keep doing the exact same Someone thing unsubbed. you've been doing. Yeah. Mid. You know that you want ice in that <laughs> I don't pay attention. Line. I know that engagement didn't go the way they wanted, <laughs> but that is the People power sub position. and unsub all the time. You Sometimes people sub just come into chat since we do have sub-only chat on. See what happens next. We'll, we'll hit it eventually. The Rainmaker, Kyo trying to we were at like 898 or 899 even before the my trip. We went all the way down to 891. It happens. It would be cool if they had heart monitors. Oh my gosh. Should I have a heart monitor? People want me to play Five Nights at Freddy for Halloween. I do. I think I could maybe do that if I hooked up like my Apple Watch to something. absolutely <laughs> best. Kyo and company are going to have to work Just quickly bubble, here because under a minute bubble, and a half left, bubble. they are yet to get on the board here. 4 3 to advantage. You imagine this is where the push comes yeah, I feel like yeah, this match is. Right the the, the, this is going gonna to Starburst. Bird moving forward there. When is it going to be used there? How are they going to do this? Yeah, it's let's load up on the tower. Too hard cooler. when there's if they this can much. Stick around and get through this. This might be the big thing. Zero's pushed up. Where are the attackers coming from? That's two down. They're going to have to get this first checkpoint. You have to imagine they'll get it, but no, wait a minute. Biscuit went ahead and got that. Now Bagel attacking. Now it's Biscuit over, and suddenly the walls have come down on this push. And Biscuit okay, just gonna... banging everybody and putting a stop to that push, and all of a sudden Starburst in full control. Zach, they're looking to close this out. What's the key? You want to think about the aim that you have with intensify action here. The key is being able to give your blaster room to continue doing Keep going what already been doing. with and RPBs. Big gonna play a big role in that We're doing turf play. wars. Trying not to do so, trying to peek over that canopy, and they're able somehow to matter of grouping up and going out, out for them. Going to fall, somehow dodging out of the way and staying alive. However, they will finally fall, and it'll be roughly a 2v2 in the last 10 seconds. All hail Biscuit just dominating this game with Mad Titans at least scored. Seconds left. Mad Titans are gonna have to be perfect to close this out. Four four on the rough. map, a couple rough. of specials ready. High to pressure overtime here. Can the Mad Titans make something of it? They still have to get through it's that hard to push this far on Rainmaker, especially now you have checkpoints. Tack the coolers out. Bert trying to push forward with that Rainmaker. Here comes the Reef Slider, and that will and there do they it. Go. Starburst 3 0 lead. Dominant 9. I will say that everybody's again, waiting on me. I'm too busy watching this. <laughs> the so I'm too busy watching this. We'll come back to our gameplay here. And you can't believe it's so close to hitting 1k. Yeah, we'll see. How, uh, it depends how this week goes, I guess. It's possible we could hit it this week. I have no idea what to expect. I After the Splatfest stream, <laughs> I have just thrown out my expectations of what's going to happen. I think also a lot of people, because of all the spoilers, I think a lot of people are just like kind of checked out of YouTube. They're just going to wait and play on their own. Um, I am getting... For those of you who are new, I am going to be playing Splatoon 3 a little bit early. I'm going to be playing it on Thursday morning. But I'm, only, I'm not going to be doing any uh, story mode, I don't think. 
just multiplayer. If I do do any story mode, um, it's going to be a separate, dedicated stream, and I'm going to label everything spoilers and stuff, but, but I don't think I'm going to do story mode. Because I don't want to spoil the uh, story mode for anybody else. I, I think it'd be funner for people to lay on their own. I did have a lot of fun, even though I knew I, I was spoiled on this Splatoon 2 story mode. I also am already spoiled on Splatoon 3 story mode, but <laughs> it was still very exciting. I just finished it for the first time. Finally, I know. I'm a bad Splatooner. I just like multiplayer <laughs> for this game. I was kind of stuck on one spot in the um, in the story mode, but I finally did on I played it on the plane like yesterday. Okay, they're starting their next match, so we're gonna watch because this might be the end. What did we learn last if Starburst exactly gets the dub here, well, sometimes desperate times we got for desperate measures, and we see zero spot zones again. No clam, clam, clam finals possibly. Starburst did uh, win on Clam last time, I believe. Your, uh, counterparts there and back off the enemy in order for you to pick up some of those clams, which are precious commodities in mid. Mad Titans have yet to control a game from the onset. It's been Starburst fast out of the blocks, but right now, Nine, it does feel like Mad Titans are being the aggressor. Yeah, look at this here, the maneuverability. This is what Comfort will do for you, but hold on a moment. It's Ice. Yes, it's a wipeout. Wipe out. It should be an opportunity for them to push. Can they coordinate it, though? The other members will have The spectating wipeout is a little confusing. Ooh, Ooh Mad Titans score this with a Super so Clam score. Now let's see who else is coming to the Clam Bank here, trying to get some more Clams. Wait, did they increase the, uh, how much the Super Clams are worth, too? Make that 26 here, Zach. That's the start the Mad Titans are looking for. You have to love the goofy oh. music that plays when oh my gosh. barrier breaks. It's so Sorry about the spoilers here. Our friend, our new friend. No. I'm going to have to mute you, friend. I just said no spoilers. And something will have to give here as we see Ink Strikes, Big Bubblers all getting deployed here in this next battle. Biscuit once again picking up the block. one v one splat against Kyo, and that's been the difference maker nine. It really has block uh, certain words or what something. Are they even at? There's not much left. Zero comes in and gets the punishment and gets Bran as well for good measure. The killer whale is out, so they'll have to be careful not to give him any free extra credit. But that could have gotten ugly in a hurry. I'm if so sorry if in. um. In the backfield, but he gets the pass off. So now it's if a that's spoiled anyone. Lead for the Mad Titans, both teams. Slight penalty, and that makes a big difference here, Zach, because now you're going to have to have a few more clams join you with that power clam. Yeah, both teams already working off of a very small pool of clams, so that mid area once again. I'm going to have to. I'm going to watch this match, and then I'm going to take a, a moment <laughs> and block some extra words here in chat to prevent people spoiling. Starburst also scores here. Not quite enough to catch up. Yeah, this is a stabilizing force. We said earlier there that switching over to that tense umbrella would fit the way they wanted to play, but maybe what they needed was a little stability. Kyo needs to clean this up without going down and does. Look at this though. It's Biscuit here. They've got two members and get him. Three per single, still 20 per super clam. Oh, okay. With them here. And now mid going back to the Mad Titans. Mad Titans in control of the map. Just over two minutes left to go. Burt with the power clam. I just saw the super clam score. I didn't see the other like one. That. That Mad Titans are getting back on the same page. Yeah, they're starting to come back to basics here. Burt, their anchor player, is going to be the one controlling the power claim. That's going to give the rest of their team the best possible opportunity to push forward here. The triple ink strike basically laid at the feet is going to allow them for a trade. It's a 3v3, now 3v2 situation. Make that 2v2 as Bagel will fall. And now, despite holding onto the power claim, I'm This is an intense match. Mad Titans know it's all on the line here. <laughs> they have to win this one. Or they're Anybody's game still. Don't forget, Starbers. One more game. They claim this championship. Mad Titans trying to stay alive. Here we go. Starbers at this point nine. They're the ones that really feel like, other than that initial push, haven't had a chance to be too aggressive. No, the stabilizing force is big, and ice going down there. People are spoiling in the Nintendo stream. Chant to no. 
Moon, can you join back? We do have a full room here, Moon. Um, if anybody who's played in more than a couple matches wants to rotate out, let Moon back in. I think they only got to play in one, maybe. And look at that 18 to 0 clam advantage. They dominate all the currency at this point, Zach. Ah. It's going to be massive. That's a three down situation. This ice is big. We're going to push forward. Do it. That's going to be a big deal. Well, Starburst, big score there. Red Titans don't even have any clams. And Starburst just dominating all the clams. I think Starburst wins it. There will be some time here for Mad Titans to make their defiant stand. Starburst under 30 seconds left from the championship. Can they hold on? Mad Titans, one more push left. Nine, it's going to take everything for the Mad Titans. It is. They do have that Pity Clan back there at the start. The Power Clan that comes up. So they will at least get into overtime here. You can see they're firing around the map to build some special. Zero goes down to the Auto Bomb. The lack of mobility on the Dry Zooka set him up there to fail. Can they hold mid? Desperately need to not get rushed down at this point. They have the tactical so they'll have a little breathing room. You can see Kyo waiting for Zero to come back. Zero is back there. Keep an eye on the top of the screen. Not much time left in overtime. Can Starburst do it? Can they shock the world? Trying to move forward. Oh, I think it's Go over there. Wipeout. GG's. Starburst with the dub. Started from the bottom. Now we at the top. They are your champions. We need some confetti for this for our viewing party. <laughs> GG's, GG's. I mean, they're the expected team to win. They are like five time North America champions for Splatoon 2, so. But that was some really good matches. It was actually pretty close in the, in the uh, semifinals one. How diverse the talent pool is and the fact that. They were able to get through semifinals. It came down to game five against Jackpot, and then they step into finals and get the brooms with the sweep over the Mad Titans. One of the most impressive performances we've seen in a long time. Absolutely, and a round of applause coming out here from the crowd. So These exciting. So, so we're going to continue doing RPBs. So uh, we might swap and do some mini games and stuff so now that this is over. Composure to be able to not only win that situation, as you said, but continue it running. But bearing saying we got our first time, taste of like what at least the competitive meta is. Now, competitive meta always going to be different than main game meta, but it does kind of influence that as well. In the first three games as well, too. I mean, they really just took control of the game, of the objective, and never let go. There's a little bit more of a battle in the fourth one, but unbelievable. Tournament's over, yeah. That's it. Starburst gets the dub. You know, Mad Titan second. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, they, they do do a loser's final, I, they probably are going to do that off stream. Perfect, but works for each of their team members and use that all the way to the very end, pulling off the sweep. Starburst are tasty. The bracket, <laughs> one last time as Starburst and oh, here's the, yeah, so here's the final. Sweeps the Mad Titans in finals. They will be your champions of the Splatoon 3 Enter the Splatlands Invitational 2022. Now they don't want any money. Nintendo not very generous with the prize pool America. money. <laughs> <laughs> Multiverse is giving away $100,000 prize pools for their tournament events and uh, Nintendo giving away some trophies and a backpack and a Switch carrying case and some, <laughs> some in-game currency or, or not in-game currency but like eShop gold coins. <laughs> still exciting though, still exciting. It's for the glory. Okay. Okay, let me also here before we before we we'll do one more turf and then we'll swap into other stuff. Um, let me, because we had some people, be not nice and uh, ruin stuff for other people with spoilers. Let me block some some keywords that because I already also got spoiled on the Splatoon three stuff. Um, I know what to block. Sadly. Maybe I'll just wait long enough to play the story mode like I did with Splatoon 2. That, uh... It won't bother me as much. No, I... 
I purposely went ahead and played all the story mode for Splatoon 2 and finished it so that I could be fresh, have it fresh in my mind. Or Splatoon 3, okay. We're gonna block some names of things. And then I think I'm also just gonna block a boss since it seems like that's what most people are spoiling. If there's anything else that people got spoiled on that they think I should uh, block, if you can share it either in DM on Discord or um, if you already got spoiled, and or just like if it's like a general word like boss, you can put that in chat. I think bosses are the only thing, main things that I saw story mode stuff get spoiled on, but. Pink Cookie, the only person you told about the spoil was your dad. Okay. I think that works. What did I block? Uh, people spoiled stuff in chat. So I blocked um, the word boss, since the final boss is... Seems to be something that every... That seems to be the main thing that people got spoiled on. Um, and then, since I got spoiled on who the final boss is, <laughs> I included that name. Oni, welcome. How are you, friend? Can you join? Absolutely. Moon, did you make it in here? We do have room. I think somebody left and made room for people. Octo guy, hello. You got spoiled too? No. I feel like everybody got spoiled. That's Hannah. People think Flit Nintendo's playing about the spoilers. Didn't see what happened to the one dude on TikTok. I, they definitely put uh, copyright takedowns um, on people. Matry popping in here. Zuri, you got spoiled as well. Maybe, though, maybe that they were wrong. <laughs> I didn't actually watch the video. I saw a thumbnail and a title here on YouTube. Which now Nintendo took down, but the Nintendo didn't take anything down until almost 24 hours later, after everybody that is interested in Splatoon 3, <laughs> I feel like, pretty much got spoiled, which is so sad. Thumbnail ruined your life. Enigma Dev, yeah, that is, that, that is the name of the account that spoiled me as well. So you did watch the video. <laughs> Zuri got spoiled and was like, well, I might as well just go all the way then. <laughs> Cookie, you did the same thing? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I just, I, you know, it's a bummer. But I, I just kind of am like, not, I can't wipe my memory, but I can just kind of been like, not think about it and still be excited about figuring out how what happens happens, I guess. But it is a bummer. But, you know, story mode, as, as exciting as story mode is, I'm more excited. I'm going to put way more time and energy, both on stream and off, into multiplayer anyways. So. And the good thing about multiplayer is I don't feel like there's multiplayer spoilers. <laughs> if, you, if you think weapons in multiplayer are spoilers, then I would say don't watch any of our streams this week or until you get Splatoon 3. <laughs> Okay, we are going to do one more turf war here. Let me see. We got some new folks in here and some higher level folks. Potato, welcome in. Lizzie. Lizzie, are you here in chat? If everybody that's in the in the lobby can give me a shout in chat, let me know that you're here because we are going to be swapping to games after this one. 
And when we play mini games, I need to know that you all are here. Paying attention to rules. J Man, hello, hello. Happy's back. Yeah, my um, you're back as well. <laughs> Min Music, you're here. Potatoes here. Zuri's here. Moon, there was room for you, but somebody took the spot. Um, Zuri, I'm gonna wait. I think a cookie left us as well. Um, Zuri, I'm gonna stick you in the VIP lounge here for a round, if that's okay. Let me split up NB and Metri. I'm gonna go take some medicine and go to bed, Pink Cookie. No worries, no worries. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. I'm glad to have seen you. I hope you're feeling better, Pink Cookie. Need lots of rest. Feel better soon. Gotta rest up for, for Friday. For Sploon. <laughs> Hector, hello, welcome, welcome. Hector, are you in the lobby? I don't think you are. If there's folks that are in chat but not in the lobby and they want to be too, give me a shout out in chat. Let me know that. Say I want to join in chat and um, we can rotate people out or if we need to, we can clear the lobby. Only three days so you can play, J-Man. Let's go. So exciting. Got a very excited uh, member of the yellow team. Getting things going with the Booyah. If, if we do have new friends, send a friend request to if they can give me a shout out in chat. Let me know what your Switch username is. Blood, welcome, welcome. Sorry about the bot. No, that's okay. I mean... <laughs> it's not good, but it's okay. <laughs> I did on the Discord, uh, Blood got hacked, I think, on the Discord or clicked on something that messed up his Discord account, or their Discord account. Um, but I did on the Discord block everybody from sharing links to other Discords, and I think that's probably going to help just reduce some of that Discord spam stuff. Atlas, hello. If a spot opens up, you'll try and join. You just added me. Okay. I should like sent. After this match, I'll go accept it. What is your um is your switch username also Atlas? If not, if you can let me know what it is, because I think I might have a few friend requests, but I'm not sure who everybody is. Did that on your Alta a few months ago too, blood oh no. Yeah, definitely everybody be super careful if you're on Discord. I don't, I would like if you, unless somebody like is a close friend and they like say hey, like in a believable, non-suspicious way, say like, hey, this is a really cool Discord that I'm also a part of. <laughs> um, I wouldn't click any links to other Discords. <laughs> or any links that you don't know who the person is or... That you don't that you don't trust them. And even sometimes if it's somebody you do trust, it might be a case where they got hacked. I generally just don't click any links in Discord. <laughs> the Discord moderation stuff is definitely I knew that was gonna be this way, but I don't have mods, it's just me, so <laughs> uh it it can be rough. <laughs> Definitely more, has to be more, a little bit more hands-on than I feel like YouTube chat here. YouTube does a better job of auto-filtering stuff. It looks like our friend Lizzie here is 
AFK Lizzie, what's going on with you, friend? Well, you're back right at the very end of the match. The last two seconds of the match, Lizzie comes back. <laughs> Lizzie, I think I'm going to ask you to spectate. If you got to go AFK, if you can please let us know. I don't know they respawn camping. I'm so sorry. I didn't notice, but it, that does indeed look very spawn camping. Yellow team. We've got some new people in here, so I haven't been seeing it as much as what I normally would. But there is no spawn or base camping in any of our matches here on the channel. So make sure you're letting the other team out of their base. If you want to play super, super sweaty, competitive Splatoon, go join like a scrim discord or something. Go play League. <laughs> Go play ranked. This is probably not the place for you. We're here to have fun. And you gotta go. Oh, Moon, that Lizzie is you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Looks like we do have a couple spots open here for those of you who are wanting to get in here. Let me go um, check R for R and Drago S. Oh, this must. Oh, it is Atlas. Ooh, Atlas. A lot of um, Animal Crossing. A, a whole lot of Splatoon. Oh my goodness. Tw almost 2,200 hours of Splatoon. Super Smash. 500 hours. Atlas here is a grinder, folks. Zelda, some Xenoblade. Some Minecraft. We do play Minecraft. Uh I went so Fortnite as well. Let's go. Let's go. For um all the new folks. We do play Fortnite as well, but we have a whole separate channel that we play Fortnite on. We're gonna be playing Fortnite tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna do a main a stream here on the main channel. 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. 2100 UTC tomorrow, and then at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, midnight UTC, we're gonna head over to the second channel tomorrow and play some Fortnite together since we, we I was gone last week, so we gotta play the Fortnite. It is Rainbow Royale in Fortnite right now, which is very fitting. You, you know I love the rainbows. We got another friend request here. It's blood. Okay. You're gonna make a go make a Roblox video. Well, good luck with that. I've never really played a Roblox. Only one time with like my nieces and nephews, but never on stream. Let's see, you're gonna join us. Try to join us as well. We do have a full lobby here. I think most of these people have only been in here for a little bit. But maybe after this one, we can clear. Spam A button. What should we play? What should we play? Wait, Rainbow Royale ends today? No, Rainbow Royale is, is going to go until... um. It's still going on. <laughs> there is an update tomorrow. Other stuff is going to change. It's going to be the last update of this season of Fortnite. But Rainbow Royale is going to continue. 99% um, sure on that. I don't have the date that it ends off the top of my head, but I when they announced everything, I did look it up. Make sure. <laughs> but I appreciate I appreciate the concern. It says September 16th goes till as what the Fortnite Twitter says. So we got another week. I think that's still the end of the season. 16th. Uh-oh. Ranked is Clam, Tassiana. Drawn by the clams. Should we do bumper brushes? That's true. We did, I did. I forgot to um ask you all what you want to play. <laughs> we do have a full lobby. I, I think maybe we just go into um into one of our most popular minigames and modes here on the channel. Everybody loves it. It is popular because... It is called Be My Bestie. <laughs> we'll do some Be My Bestie. It's our version of Protect the President, but you know, we do things a little bit different here. 
I'll go for the rules in just a sec here. Give me a sec to, uh... Let's see here. I gotta open up a queue for the besties. Okay, there is a queue there for besties. If you want to be the bestie, type exclamation point join in chat to enter the queue. We'll go in the order that people volunteer. And I'll leave it open. We'll, we'll see how many people we get. If it gets to be more than like 10 or something, then we might cut it off, but... <laughs> if it's less than that, maybe we'll just let it ride. See what happens. Let me also, um... Swap out the, uh... I'm confused. I'm confusing myself. It's not laser tag, it's be my bestie. <laughs> Let me just pull up the rules really quick and then we'll we'll go. Uh we do have a, some low level lower level folks. Alex, um Agent 3, who I think is Bonnie. You need either a charger or a brush or a splosher. If you don't have any of those things, let me know in chat. Or if you only have one of those things, maybe some, some of those folks might only have a charger. It might affect what team you can be on in this game mode. We'll go over the rules right now. <laughs> okay, so there's two teams, but there's only one bestie in the whole lobby. They're the popular person. Everybody wants to be their best friend. Even if it means splatting them to make it happen. <laughs> so if that bestie is splatted even once during the round, then the Bravo team, the attackers, the frenemies are going to win the match. If the bestie stays alive until time runs out, then the bestie and their friends on the Alpha team are going to win the match. Our bestie is going to use dualies for their weapon. The protectors, their friends on the Alpha team are going to use brushes for their weapons. Our bestie can't just sit and spawn. They got to go out into the map, be accessible by foot or tentacle by the other team. The bestie, however, can kind of play their own version of hide and seek. They can be hiding in the ink somewhere as long as as long as the other team can get to them. That other team, the Bravo team, the attackers, a.k.a. the frenemies, are going to use chargers or sloshers for their weapons. Um, there are some sub special and gear restrictions though for the bravo team so there's no torpedoes ink mines auto bombs ink storm point sensors toxic mist tenor missiles stingray beacons thermal ink haunted anything like that that reveals or specifically seeks out people in the ink not allowed for the bravo team other things though like booyah bombs regular bombs um, Splashdown, Baller, those are all fine. There is also, especially for the Alpha team in this mode, no spawner base camping. So make sure you are letting that Bravo team out of their base. The Bravo team is probably going to be pushing towards the Alpha base because that might be where the best is hiding at. So we, we have to allow that in this mode. But normally there's no spawner base camping for anybody. <laughs> on the rest of our games. Um, there's also no squid bagging. For anybody, keep it non-toxic in-game and in chat. And no stream sniping either. No peeking at the stream to see where the bestie's at. You gotta find them yourself. 
if anybody has any questions, I know we got some new people in here. Definitely shout them out. Um, let me peek at my queue here. I got Moon with Lizzie in game as our first bestie, followed by G-Man, Potato, Blood, and Atlas. Okay. Hector, can I spectate you? You gotta go to the bathroom. Sure. You mean you reset? You got a low level. What was your level before? Oh my gosh, level four, you did reset. <laughs> You're one sub to 900. It's true, it's true. I think we just stream until we, we get to 905 or something. Cement it in. Can turn into a triumphant return after my trip and, and also a 900 sub special. Celebration. Okay, um, I am getting to spectate some folks here, though. I'll spectate myself. I think I'll also spectate Caesar. Oh, no, I gotta spectate Hector. Hector, that's right. Okay, Hector had to go. BRB. Let me pick a map. Let me pick a map. Mm hmm <laughs> Where should we go? Well, I actually really like the reef for this. We'll do that. Since it took us a bit to get into a match here, I am going to go ahead and not take a roller quest unless someone doesn't have the right weapon. So again, if any of the lower level folks don't have a charger or a slosher or brushes or a dooley let me know and then i'm gonna have to put you on a certain team to work around that but you did already say it and i miss seeing it you can say it again <laughs> who's the bestie the bestie this term time is gonna be moon who is lizzie in game I mean, you have Charger and Dooley's at level four. Let's go. Okay. So, I mean, I'll make you, uh, I'll put you on the Bravo team then so you can use that Charger. Bonnie, do you have all the do you have all three of those weapons or four of those weapons? You're the other one I'm concerned about for levels. <laughs> I feel like everybody should have a charger. You do. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm going to leave everybody else on random. So, we got Lizzie, Moon, and Chat as our uh, bestie pick and doodlies. We got Caesar, Agent 3, and Blood as the protectors picking brushes. If you can make sure your teammates are all picking the right weapons, too, call it out in chat if they're not so we can get it fixed before we get in the match. And then on the Bravo team, the attackers, the frenemies, we got using chargers or sloshers, Alex, Potato, Atlas, and J-Man. Again, remember to the Bravo team, no torpedoes, ink mines, auto bombs, ink storm, point sensors, toxic mist, tenor missiles, stingray beacons, thermal ink, haunted, anything like that that reveals or seeks out people in the ink. Uh, I think that's everything. Uh, if we do, if the bestie does go down, if they can give me a shout out in chat, let me know in case I miss it. Um, if we've got more than 90 seconds left when that happens. Everybody, super jump back to base. Spam this way. So your teammates hopefully follow you with ASAP. And we will go again if we have time. Stingray okay? It is, Stingray is not okay for the um, Bravo team, but for the Alpha team it is. Stingray's on this list here of banned, since it does show you where people are. 
someone is using charger and alpha no not sure who didn't get that fixed but we'll just go ahead and play the match hopefully we can uh not exactly perfect in terms of the weapon choices and balance, but we'll just go with it. So rather than just squid party or something. <laughs> Bonnie, you're using the wrong weapon, friend. You do not have a brush, Bonnie. I thought you said you did. So for the, for the folks who haven't played this before, again, the goal is for the Bravo team to find and take out the bestie. The bestie's job is to stay alive, and the bestie's friends on the Alpha team, their job is to uh, protect the bestie at all costs, even with their lives. Looks like Bestie does go down there. Kato and Atlas, if everybody can super jump back to base, we'll go again. Super jump back to base. Back to base. And this way. Wait till I say go before you go. Make sure the yellow team is all there. Caesar, super jump back to base. Caesar, Caesar, what are you doing? <laughs> we'll just go. We'll just go. Caesar, I don't know that it's understanding. We'll have to spectate Caesar next time. Go, go, go. Round two. Fight. <laughs> it's going to be a short one. Speed run. Welcome back, Hector. Anybody else waiting in chat wanting to get in the lobby and not in here yet? Remember to the bestie, you gotta be somewhere they can get to. Can't remember if they can, you can get up to that spot in this map. Gotta be somewhere they can walk to. I don't think they can get up on that ledge, right? Gotta be down one more level. Alex, remember no squid bagging allowed. The only time squid begging is allowed here on the channel is when I say, okay, we're just gonna squid party the rest of the time. Is there you gonna lurk? Thanks for letting me know. Safe travels in the Shadow Realm or wherever your journey takes you. <laughs> we'll be here for a while too, Zuri, if you wanna come back. Later. Okay, GG's, GG's. Let me see here. Next, as the bestie, we got J Man. Where should we go for the next map? I like Shellendor for this. I also like Erewhon Mall. Bonnie, it's your first time playing. No worries. If you if you're not sure about rules, let me know. Um, you do got to make sure you're picking the right weapon. That's super important here. So it's up here on screen, Boney. If you only have a charger, if you don't have a brush, let me know in chat and I can stick you on the Bravo team. So you have the right weapon for the right team.
Caesar, I am going to stick you on uh, spectate since you weren't <laughs> listening there. Just for a round. You have a brush, but you just got confused. Okay. Yeah, I try to call it out too before hand. Okay, so we got J-Man as our bestie. We got... Hector wanting to be Alpha. I guess I'm playing since we're spectating Caesar for a round. Give folks another second here if they have a roll request. I guess we'll just go. <laughs> okay, so we got J-Man as her bestie picking doolies on the alpha team picking brushes. The protector is Alex Blood. And Hector. And then on the Bravo team, the attackers, the frenemies, picking chargers or sloshers. We got myself, Potato, Agent 3, and Atlas. Remember, though, those weapon restrictions. Nothing that seeks out or reveals people in the ink. J-Man is our bestie. J-Man 2022. Blood, if you can make sure you're picking the right weapons. Blood, you should be using a brush. But I do help you on the bestie list, but you're not up for bestie for a couple more matches. So blood, if you can make sure you're swapping to brush. I'm going to hold off readying up, so hopefully that can happen if it didn't already. Mm, I didn't see it get fixed, but hopefully... Otherwise, <laughs> I guess we'll just keep rotating people that don't follow the rules into spectator mode. Oh, they, okay, they figured it out. They figured it out. So again, if the bestie does go down, if they can let me know in chat. Say I'm out. And again, if we have more than 90 seconds left in the match when that happens, or if that happens... Everybody super jump back to base. Spam this way so your teammates follow you. And we'll hopefully do another round. Um, I'm the best game.
One minute. Bestie's still alive? Wait, Potato says they got the bestie. We don't have enough time to uh, do another round, so. I guess we just squid party. We hit 900. What? Let's go. Let me, let me check. That is, that is a reason. Oh no! Rules! Matt, hello. <laughs> hit the rules up the whole time. Eater of the mind. Oh wow. Well. That's a bummer. Google Gamer, welcome in. You're the person that put us over the goal. Thank you so much and welcome to our happy little community. Oh, we got to 901. Let's go. Really, really appreciate that. If anybody hasn't already, two were just one away from an X like goal. You can hit that thumbs up button, the like button on the stream, and appreciate it. GG's, everyone. GG's. We are playing some mini games. Um, to our new friends that just joined us, Daniel, welcome as well. If you want to send a friend request, check out the pin message in chat. Um. I'll stick my friend code in chat as well. If you're already friends with me. The lobby code is super top secret, but since we're already friends, I'll tell you. Five, six, seven, eight. You know, my friend code is right there in chat for you. How are y'all doing though? Did you all watch the, the Splatlands, enter the Splatlands tournament or there? We watched it on stream. Super exciting. I'm going to rewatch it probably. <laughs> We were doing PBs during it. Usually competitive events are like a little bit more slower paced. There's usually a lot more like downtime between matches. This was like very rapid fire. Honestly, super fun. If we, I think if all the Nintendo uh, competitive events are like that, I might just do a watch party without the PBs. Maybe let other folks run PBs if they want during chat. Because I would like to just watch this Jackson here. Is Jackson one of our new friends? Either Daniel or uh, Google Gamer. Hurt when you saw the lobby full. Yeah, we we do have a full lobby. Um. Well, let's go. You all help us hit the uh, like goal as well. Thank you so much. We're honestly not that far from forty like him. Appreciate all the support, everybody. Oh my gosh. You don't see friend code. It's a, It was right there in chat. <laughs> I'll add it again. The bot is coming from the bot. Um, Daniel. Or it's in the pin message. But it's right there in chat. 7785 -1630 -6118. Um, I think actually what I do is I, um, uh, is this you, Daniel, Octo Girl? If you do add me, let me know what your Switch username is so I can accept, because we do have some friends, uh, I, by friends, I mean trolls. <laughs> Happy little trolls. Trying to cause some mischief in our lobbies. Keep making alt accounts and adding me. Oh, Skinkling, you are Octo Girl. Okay. And Matt, you are Jackson. Okay. Welcome back, Zuri. Daniel, your name is Food Kid. What kind of foods do you like? What's your favorite food? Please don't say kids. <laughs> You're like the witch from Hansel and Gretel. You only eat children. <laughs> That's dark. 
Oh my gosh, your me is so cute though. <laughs> love it, love it. Donuts are your favorite food. Ooh, donuts are tasty. There's a vegan donut shop not too far from me. That has a bunch of really fun flavors. I don't go very often because I don't need to eat a whole lot of donuts, but <laughs> a very fun, nice treat every once in a while. I think let's go to Schellendorf Institute. Um, we got a bunch of new people here. I If you've played in more than a couple rounds with us today, if I can please, please, please ask you to hop out of the lobby. Caesar, Alex, especially you been in here for quite a bit potato i think you've done quite a few rounds although i think potato might be well, potato is our next bestie so potato you gotta stay in yeah. if you do want to turn to be the bestie hit my exclamation point join in the chat and then i'll enter you in our bestie queue i'll explain the rules too since i know we got new folks be My Bestie is our version of Protect the President, but we do things a little bit different here on the channel. So there's two teams, but in the whole lobby, there's only one Bestie. They're the popular person. Everybody wants to be their best friend, even if it means splatting them to make it happen. So if that Bestie is splatted even once during the match... The Bravo team, the attacker team is going to win. If the bestie stays alive until time runs out, the bestie and their friends, the protectors on the alpha team are going to win. The bestie is going to use dualies for their weapon. The protectors, their friends on the alpha team are going to use brushes for their weapons. I mean, any brush they like. Bestie can't just sit and spawn, has to go out somewhere on the map, be accessible by foot or tentacle by the other team. That other team, the Bravo, the attackers, aka the frenemies, are going to use chargers or sloshers for their weapons. Now, there are some weapon, um, sub, special, and gear restrictions for the Bravo team only here in this mode. So there's no torpedoes, ink mines, auto bombs, ink storm, point sensors, toxic mist, tenor missiles, stingray, beacons, thermal ink, haunted. Anything like that that reveals or specifically seeks out people in ink is allowed for the Bravo team. But other subs and specials are things like regular bombs. Um, booyah bombs are good to go. Baller, splashdown, those are all fine. Just the ones I listed, not okay. Um, and then for everybody, but especially in this mode for the Alpha team, make sure you're letting the Bravo team out of their base. No spawner base campaign for the Alpha team here. Um, the Bravo team is probably going to be pushing towards the Alpha team base to find the bestie. Um, there's also no squid egg in here in the channel. Keep it non-toxic in game in the chat and no stream sniping either. Okay. Alejandro. Hello, hello. You are Alex. Okay. You use the sloshy machine. Yes, the sloshy machine is a slosher. That's why it says starts with slosh. <laughs> You mean you're lurking? Why do you accept our friend Alex's uh, request? Oh, wait, wait, I already did. I already did, I think. Oh, that's right. Alex is in here. Alex, if you can do me a favor, hop out of the lobby. Give other people a chance to play. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to stick you on spectate for a few rounds. So... <laughs> we've got more people wanting to get in here so if you played more than a couple rounds if you can please uh hop out especially the folks at the top of the lobby list here caesar alex imagine if somebody accidentally uses back and just have to welcome themselves back <laughs> Daniel, you're good with the squiffer. Ooh, okay. You want you probably want to be on the attacking team here then. After this one, you're gonna hop off Bonnie. Bonnie. Wait, this one or in the next one? <laughs> oh, 
I'll wait if it's going to be this one so our other friends can join. Otherwise, if I don't have people popping out, I will uh, clear the lobby after this one. And give other people a chance to join. Okay, we do got one spot open. If anybody else wants to get in here, I'll spectate. I'm going to spectate Caesar since... They're not leaving. Any of our new friends that just added us. Lobby code again is 5678. It's top secret though. Don't tell anybody. Looks like somebody else popped out as well. Join us, new friends. Atlas, you gotta go. Have a good one. We'll hang out for a moment then so more people can join. I guess I guess I should probably change um the the uh, title to nine hundred subscriber celebration perhaps perhaps. Ah, uh, the, the clam blitz has ended and Tassiana has returned. We got Phuket in here. We we have a spot open, Tassiana, if you want to join us for some Biba Bestie. Shadow Ninja, hello, hello. Nobody joins in the next few moments, so I will, uh, we shall proceed. Skinkling, giving away your strat strategy here. <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and go here. I got potato. As my uh, bestie. If you have other royal requests, shout them out ASAP. You got just a few moments here for me to go through the list. <laughs> There wants to be alpha. Okay, so we're gonna do a few more matches of uh being bestie here. I got three more people on my list after this match. Blood Atlas and Alex. Alex maybe left us actually though, I'm not sure. Alex, if you're still here in chat. Let me know. You can join back for the uh, your turn at Bestie. When it's your turn. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go. No one else volunteering. So, we got Potato as the Bestie. Picking Dooley's. We got Agent 3, Blood, and Hector. Picking brushes as the protectors on the Alpha team, Bravo team, the attackers, the frenemies using charges for sloshers, myself, PJ, the DJ, Octo Girl, and Food Kid. PJ, the DJ, if you can make sure you're picking a charger or a slosher. Those are the only weapons allowed for this mode. For the Bravo team. Rashawn. Change your weapon. <laughs> I'll hold off on ready naps. It looks like they, they're doing it. Rashawn, it's a uh, charger or slosher. So a sniper or a slosher. 
but not duallys for you, friend. Rishan, you still got the wrong weapon. <laughs> You got just a few seconds, Trisha. Trisha, you change it again, but you still change it the wrong one. <laughs> I think you're confused about the rules here, Trisha. I, I called it out what to pick, but um. So the Alpha team. The bestie is the only person that has duallys. We'll just go ahead and play the match, even though we got one person with the wrong weapon, but... Alpha team, the bestie, picks duallys. Everybody else on the alpha team picks brushes. Bravo team, everybody picks only chargers or sloshers. I don't remember what I said either, Skankly. <laughs> Reminder to the bestie, you do gotta be somewhere. The Bravo team can get you by foot or tentacles, so you can't be in your base. Gotta exit your base. Oh, Hector and me trading. Queen Kitty, welcome back. How are you doing? Roshan, go ahead and play. It's okay if you pick the wrong weapon, you can still play. Just if you can pick it, pick the right thing for the next match. Even if we have wrong weapons, I'd rather people still play, because otherwise it just gets really unbalanced, number-wise. <laughs> More unbalanced than picking the wrong weapon. I took out blood even from beyond the gray. That's suction bomb. <laughs> Did the bestie go down? If the bestie does go down, if they can give us a shout out in chat, let us know. Event. Ah, found the bestie. GG's. <laughs> we don't have enough time to do another round. So we'll just squid party the rest of the time. Now this would be the only time on stream when I say, okay, we're going to squid party when it's okay to squid bag or crouch spam. Bacon, hello, hello. What do I use for VTubing? What is VTubing? <laughs> what is this VTubing you speak of? I know. Um, I use a... Uh, my model I made with a program called Vroid Studio, and then I customized some textures and stuff by myself. And then um, VC Face is the app that I use. Only that's only on PC. If you, if anybody does want to be bestie, you're not already. If you type exclamation point join, you will join our queue for bestie. Up next, we got blood. That's Bastion. Welcome back, J-Man. Let's swap to another stage here. For our viewing party, I'd have the, have the uh, tournament stream up on the TV in my room that I used to stream off all the time. 
It's an old plasma TV. It is so hot in this room right now. <laughs> I'm literally sweating and not like in like I'm playing in a sweaty match type of way, just actually sweating. <laughs> Let's go to... What is Sturgeon? I always forget about Sturgeon. Ooh, spots are open. It's true. If any of the new folks that weren't in here before want to get back in here, Alex, if you want to join back. Like Potato left us. Uh, Daniel, that means that that's the next person that is our be bestie. It's a person in chat and in game. <laughs> They're also, their name is Blood, something else in, in game. Treshawn, it's okay. Um, here, I'll pull the rolls up again, Treshawn. If you're confused about what to pick, let me know. <laughs> but it's all right here. So there's only one person in the lobby. They're the bestie. They pick Dulies. So this round, that's going to be Blood. And the people on their team, on the Alpha team... Their friends use brushes. Bravo team, everybody picks chargers or sloshers only. And then Bravo team also has all these other weapon restrictions. Things that um seek out or show she seek out people in the ink or show you where people are in the ink. Not allowed for the Bravo team. So there's a long list here. I'll read them out loud when we're actually picking weapons. Going once, going twice. I think we just go. Ooh, Kitty. Kitty joined us in the game. Let's go. Asiana disappeared into splat zones. <laughs> I'm super excited for Splatoon 3 to be able to queue um, with people into that open anarchy ranked mode. It's going to be fun. I think we're good. I, I might do a lot of ranked on stream, honestly. Glad you got spoiled. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hopefully it wasn't from the person that spoiled it here. I did block a bunch of words here in chat. Please don't spoil it for anybody else. I know a lot of people get spoiled, including myself. Sad face. I threw you want to swap to Bravo. Okay, let's go. We're going to go. I'll take Caesar off. I they're swapping... And let's see here. If anybody else who did rotate out wants to rotate back in for the next one too, you're welcome to since. And if anybody is in chat but not in game and wants to join us, just give me a shout out. Let me know. Say, I want to join. I want to play. Okay. We're going to leave it mostly up to fate here. So we got blood as our bestie. Taken Dooley's, we got Octo Girl, Food Kid, and Kitty as the protectors on the Alpha team picking brushes. Reminder to the bestie, you can't just sit in spawn, you gotta go out of the map. Be accessible and buy photo tentacle by the other team, so you gotta be somewhere they can get to. Bravo team, the attackers, the frenemies using chargers or slashers. We got myself, Caesar, Hector, and Treshawn. Reminder to the Bravo team too, there's no torpedoes, ink mines, autobombs, ink storm, point sensors, toxic mist, sana missiles, stingray, beacons, thermal ink, haunted, anything like that that reveals or seeks, specifically seeks out people in the ink. A loud reminder to the Alpha team in this mode, no spawn or base can be make sure letting Bravo out of their base. And then for everybody, there's no squid begging and no stream sniping. No peeking at the stream to see where the bestie's at. You gotta find them yourself. Daniel, can you be bestie next round? If anybody wants to be bestie, you can have a turn, but you gotta type exclamation point join into the chat. And then our bot will add you to the list. I can't manually add people. So you gotta add yourself by typing join, exclamation point join. If you have already had a chance at bestie, I don't think we're gonna do second turns this 
stream just because we got a lot of people in here. And we've already done quite a bit of Be My Bestie. So I want to give everybody a chance. Um, and then once everybody who wanted to, wants to has had a turn, um, unless unless the list gets really, really long, um, <laughs> we'll swap to another mini game or mode. But I like doing besties. There's a reason it's one of our most popular modes and mini games that we play here on the channel. The girl coming back for some revenge. No, no, Daniel, you got the wrong weapon. Everybody can double check when we're ready now that your teammates all have the right weapons. Call it out in chat if they're not, so we can hopefully get it fixed. Knock the girl just running at me over and over again here. <laughs> Kitty with the sneak attack, the jump scare. Scary kitty. My hands are so sweaty because it's so hot in this room. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Need to like go get a microfiber cloth or something. No, we had people unsubscribe. We went below 900. Sad face. That's okay. <laughs> this means we get to celebrate again, right? Food kid with the snipes. How did the Octobrush get me that far away? GG's, GG's. The bestie lives. Let's go. We did hit 40 like hype. I'll take that as a consolation prize. <laughs> we went back below 900. <laughs> Thank you for all the support today. Appreciate it, appreciate it. If you haven't already, though, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. We play Splatoon together on stream. Usually, it's it's going to be three days a week with the launch of Splatoon 3. And then we also do some other games, some variety streaming. Might actually be more than three days a week. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be playing Splatoon 3 every day. But I might do some of it off stream. We'll, we'll have to see. How, like, rank Q is on stream and how that works. <laughs> what the vibe is. Um, GG's, GG's. Anybody else want to pop any here? I threw you're excited for Killer Whale. I feel like I gotta figure out Killer Whale a little bit more. The, I only played a few matches with weapons that had on in the Splatfest. Um, and I did not totally get how to, like, aim it. <laughs> I know that it kind of auto-aims once it, like, locks onto somebody, but the UI for it wasn't super, like, obvious. Do I do Minecraft, Daniel? We do play Minecraft. 
Um, usually we do Minecraft on Friday. The schedule's gonna be a little bit weird this week because I'm gone for a big chunk of the weekend this weekend. You know, really bad timing with Splatoon 3 launching, but it is what it is. Making the best of it. I, I, I'm gonna get access to the game one day early on Thursday. So I'm gonna be playing multiplayer matches all day Thursday. Um... I should be able to get games, even though not that may many people are going to have access, um, because I'm on the west coast of the U.S., so I get ended up I end up in Japanese lobbies a lot, anyways, especially late at night. No, did you get disconnected? No. Welcome back, MLH. Okay, who's our next bestie here? Atlas. And again, Daniel, if you do want to turn that bestie, just type exclamation point, join in chat to join that queue. And for anybody else who hasn't already joined the queue and wants a turn to be the bestie today. Where do we go? <laughs> I feel like we never do be my bestie in Port Macro. Port Macro, let, let's give it a shot. <laughs> this is midnight, actually. Uh -huh. Oh, Atlas left us. Atlas, if you left just to let other people have a chance in the lobby, feel free to come back. You left because you had to go, and I miss seeing that I forgot that you said goodbye. We did say I'll see you, Atlas. You gotta go, bro. Well, then we got uh Alex who also left us. Then we got Hector. You thought it was pork mackerel, like a pig. <laughs> it was not. It was not. Why pork mackerel? Well, we just rotate through the stages. <laughs> it was bound to happen. There's some that I never do. Like, we don't ever really do, like, Mori Towers. Camp Triggerfish. But the rest of them... We rotate through for the most part. Um, okay. We got Hector as my bestie. If anybody has a roll request, speak up in the next few seconds or we're going to proceed. Also, if anybody else wants to join us in game, let me shout out with the uh, friend code and lobby code in chat again. I probably should, um, at least temporarily change the, uh, thumbnail here. Like that I turned, <laughs> I changed the title to 900 subscriber celebration and then I think that made people unsubscribe <laughs> just to troll me. Uh, Daniel, you want beta, okay. Think the, you like the stream? Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, we got a 3v3 here. Nobody else. Give me a request. We got Hector as her bestie, Pick and Doolies. We got Caesar and Octogirl as the protectors using brushes. 
Then on the Bravo team, the attackers, the frenemies, using chargers or sloshers. We got Blood, Treshawn, and Food Kid. Again, if you're not sure on what weapon to pick, I just said it, but <laughs> you can always look on screen and get the rules up while we're ready and up here. And then uh, if your teammates aren't picking the right weapon, call it on chat before you ready up. Make sure we all got everybody's got the right weapon so we can get it fixed before we get in the match. Because it does mess up the, uh, the balance of the mode. People have the wrong weapons. We have rigorously, for probably hundreds of hours now, played Be My Bestie. <laughs> We've got it. It's like a fine-oiled machine of a game mode. <laughs> it's also super fun. Why did they add the the tactical or the, the soda can special? Well, because it's a little bit more of a... a not, like a skill based, I would say, a replacement for ink armor. I took out ink armor. You gotta coordinate with your friends. It looks like maybe some people AFK here. Good night, you join the lobby. Let's go. Blood, what are you doing? You gotta, you gotta go get the best you. Blood hair. Might need to be spectated for a round. I remind everybody, there is no squid bag in here on any of the matches on the stream. The only time squid begging or crouch damming is okay is if I explicitly say at the end of a match like we, we finish a match and there's not enough time to do another round that we're squid partying otherwise let's keep it non-toxic in game in a chat if it keeps happening after you've been warned uh you're gonna end up spectating and or blocked and you can't play with us Nah, I don't want to do that. Let's just, so let's just spell the rules. Nintendo nerfed squid egg. It's more like squid, squid lumping. <laughs> In Splatoon 3. It looks less, less toxic. I guess we'll have to see what happens. I don't know Daniel did gonna happen. Well, we'll just play on the match, I guess, because some trades going on here. Sean trying to hug the uh make sure um Alva team are not fun and base camping the uh the Bravo team. That is also in the rules here. You know to know at their we play all the rounds of BMS Could we play normal game of Rainmaker? We'll probably do a poll. See what people feel like. But I can remind me again when, when I'm making the poll. I'll let you all know. And uh, I can try to add that in as an option. We don't usually do a lot of the ranked modes in PBs. We tend to do mini games and custom modes just because it gives people a little bit of variety. It'll spice it up a little bit. 
<laughs> Let's see. Have we haven't gone to Walleye? We haven't gone to. Oh, we haven't gone to New Albacore. Let's go there. I guess I'll swap the uh, stream name back to what it was. <laughs> we lost another subscriber. No. JK, we didn't. That window just hadn't updated. Okay, let me look at my list of besties here. I got Food Kit. Up next and Skinkling after that. Wait, Skinkling, did you already have a turn as bestie earlier? I can't remember. I know you were in, in the lobby earlier. I can't remember if you had a turn. We're only doing one turn at bestie each. anybody has roll requests, let me know. Skinkling lurking. Safe travels in the Shadow Realm or wherever your journey may take you. <laughs> what does lurk do? It just lets me know that you are uh, still here in stream, but you're not talking. Inkling, does that mean you need to be, uh, spectated? Probably can't answer because they lurked. I guess I'll stick them on spectate until they tell me otherwise. I thought you want to be on Bravo. Lucky you won your very first game as besting. Let's go. I thought I had you there for a sec, but... Zuri also lurking. Inkling your back. Okay, perfect. I'll take you off then. <laughs> you forgot it again. Oh, let's go. We're just one away from our next, um, a light goal, which I don't even know if I set. <laughs> I guess I'll set it now. Epic Adventure was the kitchen. <laughs> you get a snacky poo. I mean, adventures in cuisine <laughs> or snacks. Okay, so we got a uh, food kid as our bestie, picking doolies. We got blood for Sean and midnight picking brushes as the protectors on the alpha team. Reminder to the bestie, you can't just sit and spawn. You got to go out on the map. Be accessible by photo technical by the other team. So someone they can walk to or swim ink to. Bravo team, myself, Caesar, Hector, Octogirl, picking chargers or sloshers. Hector, if you can make sure you're picking a charger or slosher, not doolies this time, friend. Meme team, 
meme team? Bravo meme team? Hector, you gotta change weapons one way or the other. Whether you're memeing with us or not. Reminder to the alpha team, there's no spawn or base camping. Make sure you're letting Bravo out of their base. Reminder to everybody, but especially uh, our bestie who did it last time. No squid bagging. Oh no, Hector didn't change. And a reminder to the Bravo team as well, no stream sniping, although it's not really going to do you much good to stream snipe when I'm on the Bravo team. Hector did not pick the right weapon, but we'll just go with it. I believe they're AFK. I'll, I'll spectate Hector for the next one. Unless they come back to life. Whoops, whoops, whoops. This is our last round, I think, of Beam of SDA. Also, this. This was the last person on our list. Charging <laughs> right into a barrage of section bounce, but it did take me out in the process. Did Hector disconnect them? It looks like it. If I can have a volunteer from the alpha team then to sit out on their base. Just so we have even teams at least. Also a reminder to the alpha team. No spawn our base camping. Make sure you're letting Bravo out. Good night, you can sit out. I appreciate that. Oops, well, I was just helping you get back to your base faster. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't realize that was you. Oh no, Daniel, you disconnected. Well, then we, then we just quit party, I guess. This one drew a flower there, it looks like. <laughs> okay, we will swap to something else here. Let me do a poll. Luca sisters, welcome. How are you? GG's, GG's. Hector, are you back? I asked this in a uh, community um, tab poll here on the channel, but if anybody else has uh, any mini game ideas, for Splatoon 3, based on all the new weapons and the new specials and whatnot, 
definitely let me know. Um, we also, you could either let me know in chat or if you're in the Discord, you could, um, we have a dedicated mini game channel in the Discord. I'll stick a link to the Discord in chat while I'm making the poll here. Um, or you can let me know when that could be in any tab post. Let's go as well. I think our new friend, um, a new friend, Polka Sisters. Maybe help push us over 900 subscribers. I think he was your 300 subscriber. 300 or 900? We just did 900. Again, hit it earlier and then we went down. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. We also hit a 45 like hype. So thank you all so much for that. If you haven't already, though, hit that thumbs up button, the like button on the stream. See if we can get the 50 like hype. I gotta always keep dreaming a little bit bigger, reaching a little bit higher. Reaching for the stars up there. Yeah, if you are new too, feel free to send me a friend request. The uh, friend code is right there in chat. I don't know why I said it funny like that, but I did. <laughs> Let's go. We hit 900 subscribers again, so I think we gotta have another party. Let's see here. Let's see here. Slight break for party. <laughs> Whoops, that's not right. There we go. Party. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Roxanne, hello, hello. Roxanne, your your Nintendo Switch online just expired. Oh no. You must have had it for the Splatfest, maybe. You're welcome to still hang out here and chat with us. Okay. We did already party once. <laughs> Does somebody subscribe while I was partying? No, unsubscribed. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm doing a poll. Doing a poll for what to play next. Um, if anybody has suggestions, if you know what all our mini games and modes are, feel free to shout some out. At the wines, I'll just pick some stuff. Let's see, what we got. Seven in here. Maybe some new friends might join us. I think I saw a friend request. Flash across the top of the screen. Mario Lini, if you're in here, give me a shout out. Let me know what your Switch username is for me to accept. We've got some happy little trolls causing some mischief, trying to keep adding me. Mess up our lobbies. So I gotta make sure people are actually here in chat. We accept. How do I think Splatoon 3 would go? What do you mean? <laughs> I think it's gonna go fantastic. Based off the Splatfest and... Uh, Everything that I've seen, I'm super excited. It seems like there's a lot of hype around the game, even from people that aren't in the, like, main Splatoon community and just, like, more, like, Nintendo fans or just more, like, more casual gamers. I've seen a lot of excitement for the game, so. Very pumped. Definitely, I can tell, too, just from, like, the number of views on videos and subscribers and, and uh, likes and stuff that there's definitely just a lot of Hype even just within the Splatoon community as well. Everybody's super excited. Hype level 
overload. Beep boop, beep boop. I should stream Breath of the Wild. Um, I did one Breath of the Wild stream. <laughs> I probably will stream some Breath of the Wild 2 when that finally comes out. Next spring. I generally play multiplayer games with viewers. That's mostly what we do here. Even when I play like Minecraft, it's on a realm with longtime viewers. Sometimes I'll I'll do I played like Pokemon Legends Arceus is probably the most recent single player thing I did. Which I did do quite a few streams of that, but I'm excited for Scarlet and Violet. There is a multiplayer aspect to that. Which is nice. I'm looking at my list of mini games here and trying to pick what to put in this bowl. Yeah, we're gonna go with Mind Mania. Rainmaker, somebody suggested. We only have a 3v3. Um, dodgeball? And... Let's see. Oh, Rick Rollers. We've been playing that a lot, but it's been fun. If you don't know what one of these modes are... Just ask... I'll also probably just explain them all. Rainmaker, I'm sure you all know. <laughs> Mind Mania is um, ink mines and specials only. It's kind of like a... I describe it as like a real-time strategy game inside of Splatoon. Or like chess or something inside of Splatoon. It's fun, actually, though. I, we have a lot of fun with it. Dodgeball is going to be Burst Bombs. Mind Mania is mine, Mines and Specials only. Dodgeball is Burst Bombs only. Rick Rollers is roll. Everybody picks Rollers and um, it is a Roller main only. No sub, no specials. But you can snipe with the Rollers or splash or just roll on the ground to your heart's content. Has anybody seen how cute the... Um, Character animation for rollers inside of Splatoon 3 is. The the little inklings and octolings just get so happy when they're rolling. They get a huge smile on their face. Here, I got a picture of it all. Let's see if I can pull it up. I think I got it on Twitter. Which most of you aren't on. <laughs> I pretty much, instead of tweeting it, I, uh... Yeah, I found it. I found it here. I'll share it in a sec. Look how cute. Look at this happy little roller. Face. It's like the biggest smile ever. <laughs> so cute. Okay, it looks like, speaking of rollers and happiness, it looks like Rick Rollers is victorious here in our poll. Rainmaker and Dodgeball in second. We'll probably play at least one of those other ones before we wrap up the stream. I don't have like a hard out time, but we'll just kind of see how things are going. Right now, this is the time when a lot of people are like having dinner. And then usually people come back a little bit later. Rick Rollers. Yes, I'll explain it. It's pretty easy though. Everybody have a roller. Blood's kind of low level. Everybody else should, though. So, everybody's going to use a roller as their weapon. You can use the main however you'd like. Vertical swipes, splashing the ink with ZR, or jumping and using ZR, or just rolling on the ground, like I said. But it's main only, so no subs, no specials allowed at all. Um, you can definitely... Be more snipey in this if you pick a dynamo. 
You can definitely optimize your gear for this by picking stuff that buffs your main. As always, there's no spawner base camping, no squid begging, and no stream sniping. Now here in that spawn and base camping, because like stuff like the dynamo has so much range, almost like charger range, um, you can be sitting in the middle of the map and still sniping people as they exit their base. So make sure you're letting people out of their base. Anybody has any questions or you're not sure? I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, but. Daniel, thank you for that lurk. Safe travels in the Shadow Realm or wherever your journey may take you. The kitchen, <laughs> the bathroom. Let's go somewhere different. Let's 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 swap it up. Let's go to Chronicles of Rolonium. Blood. I miss blood saying they were leaving. Have a good one, blood. We'll see you later. Okay. Let's see. We got James here. Is James in chat? I can't remember who James is in chat. You can give me a shout out. Let me know you're here. Paying attention to rules. Oh, James, you are here. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Matri, hello. Matri, are you going to join back in? in? The lobby? Mystical, you can do Fortnite streams again. That's awesome. We're going to do a Fortnite stream tomorrow. 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Midnight UTC over on our second channel. If anybody's new and wants to join us over there for that. We play Fortnite with friends over there too. By friends, I mean you all lovely people. All you lovely people. Um, oh, nice. Metro did join back. Okay, so we got... Let me just take a shot of the... Everybody's levels and stuff. So I can try to bounce up these teams a little bit. So we're doing brick rollers. Everybody's going to pick... A roller of their choice. You can only use the main, though. No subs, no specials, but you can use... The main, however you'd like. I'm gonna split up matchery. James, let's take Kitty here. Off the girl there. I think everybody else will leave on random for now, and we can always readjust if we need to. I guess I'll stick me into the mix too. And so we have even teams. <laughs> yeah, thank you, James. I, 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 I usually try to double check. Sometimes I forget, but I noticed. <laughs> but I appreciate you calling it out. Always helpful. You have Mario Kart now too, Mystical. Ooh, let's go. Yeah, I think we're, we're, we are going to be a little bit extra Splatoon heavy the next couple weeks. Two, three weeks, maybe. I'll probably only do um, like two Friday streams a week. And one of those is probably going to be Minecraft every week. But we will eventually go back to more variety. But me and I think most of the people 
subscribe to the channel are mostly going to be wanting to play Splatoon, so. I should be swapping my gear to stuff that works better. For this, what do I pick? Oh my goodness. That doesn't really do me too much good. Uh, it's not horrible, actually. We'll go with that. Splatoon 3 is almost among us. <laughs> Splatoon 3 Among Us mode confirmed? They just took out, speaking of Fortnite, they just took out the imposters mode inside of Fortnite, which was like their Among Us mode. I hadn't played it in a while. When it, it was like really good XP for the Battle Baz for a while. <laughs> so I did used to play it. There's a couple seasons I played a lot of it because XP was really bad. A lot of the main part of the game. But I got so sick of it after a while. I did play it on stream a couple times too. Oh, the Zari. Zari with the jump scare. Bravo main team. All dynamos? Oh no. Dynamo is a little bit of... It, it swaps up. It depends on who's in here. For our Rift Rollers matches. But there is a little bit of a Dynamo. Meta going on. In this minigame. Oh, there are Ken's the Dynamos. I'll say make sure Bravo team you're letting Alpha team out of their base. double but I died for it <laughs> I sacrificed my life for that double worth it maybe another happy little double Ooh, but I also died for it <laughs> should take over YouTube and make our profile makes Happy's profile? Wait, what do you mean? Like, make your profile pick my my profile pick? Like, it's confusing. That one last blood and at least I believe the blue team dynamo meme team though won it. We'll have to check out the scoreboard though. We do go by splats in this boat, so we only go to by ink if there's a tie for some reason. Blue team wins on ink. What about those splats? Let's see if he got 14, 16, 21 for the blue team. Oh my goodness, actually. My mouth wasn't fast enough, but it looks like it's close. It looks like it come down to a, the very last person on that scoreboard head. Let me look at the replay. Let's see, we got 9, 9, 18, 20. Oh, so close, so close. I think if we keep these teams the same. Rematch. GG's, GG's. That was a good one. That was fun. We'll swap off the stage, though, for the rematch. Maybe.
maybe maybe the alpha team also uh takes more dynamo. <laughs> Perhaps, perhaps. Daniel says all classic ruler. Okay. I think all dynamo. And we do have some spots open if anybody wants to join. Usually we have some people lurking here. Listening, doing other stuff. Homework. Art. Not playing, but... If anybody does want to join, we got room for you. Otherwise, I'll, I'll spectate and we can just do a 3v3. Not quite the rematch I was dreaming of, but... Oh, Metro, you're going to rejoin. Okay, perfect. I'll sit here and think about what what map to use. I haven't gone to Anchovy today. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, thank you all so much too. I just noticed we um hit the next like goal here. Forty six like hype. You love to see it. I think I forgot to pin the uh, updated subscriber goal as well. See if we can get some cement in our 900 subs with a, a 905 goal. We gotta keep, we gotta keep reaching higher, dreaming bigger, reaching for the stars. Let me try to recreate these teams from that last match since it was so close. Let's see, we had James, we had Octogron, Foodkin, Zari. And I'm gonna swap. We're playing Rick Roller still. It is a rollers only, main only, no subs, no specials. You can pick any roller you'd like, though. Again, also, uh, no spawner base camping. Make sure you're letting the other team out of the base. No squid begging. No stream sniping. James is in the chat. Yeah, James was in the chat here. I asked that earlier. Oh, sorry, you weren't ready. Hopefully you're ready now that we're in the match. <laughs> If not, though, and you need need me to sit out, let me know. Oh, blue team all switched up their strategy here. It looks like they all went splat roller. Oh, oh, the sneak attack, jump scare. I think that's the afterglow keeps, uh, remember, uh, midnight, we're not doing turn four here, we're doing 
it's, it's battles. It splats wins. <laughs> you don't gotta ink the base. A little revenge there. Happy little double. Almost a triple. GG's though. Zari taking the M. I guess Zari's back. Yeah, there's no subs, folks. No subs, no specials, just main. If somebody does get a splat from a sub or a special, let me know in chat and we'll adjust the score. Also, let me know who it is and if it continues to be a problem, we'll spectate them or... Give them the old boot. Black. But usually if it's... Sometimes people just accidentally use it, use it once. I forget. So hopefully that little reminder helps, yeah? My goodness, I could not, not hit a shot there. <laughs> to save my life, literally. I died. Midnight, are you good? Are you AFK? A lot of AFK folks in matches today. <laughs> we don't usually see that here. Not sure what's going on. Happy little double, but again, I died for it. <laughs> and blue team, if you can, like, back up just a smidgy poo. When you come back from your wipe out there. For being yourself, wait, what does that mean? But <laughs> you're gonna leave the stream after this? No worries. Thanks for hanging out with us and playing some matches, Metri. Hopefully, you have a good rest of your day. Let's see if we got 14, 21, 22 for the yellow team. I gotta look at the look at the score in the app since I played in the match. Look at the apps. But two and three, this I don't have to worry about this anymore. It shows the scoreboard again afterwards, which is so nice. Um let's see, we got 13, 14, 19. Very close again, but GG's everyone. I think Dynamo Dynamo Meta and Rick Rollers. Alive and well. If you are going to leave, Matchery, that's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Not necessarily the nicest thing to shout out other streamers you're leaving for, though, in my chat. It was a, it was a battle over and over again, Autogrom. It was kind of weird, trading back and forth. <laughs> Should we do one more... Um, Rick Rollers, and then we'll swap to, uh, some Dodgeball. After that, I might, um, yeah, we'll do one more. I, I'm gonna have to do, like, a quick little break. Get some more water. It's so hot in this room, too. I need to, like, go outside and just breathe in the air conditioning for a second. <laughs> go to the bathroom, maybe grab a snacky poo myself. But I'm still, I'm still having fun, so we'll keep streaming for a while longer. Do some Dodgeball. We also always wrap up the stream with um, a fashion show, a squid party. So if anybody has any fashion show theme ideas you want to share with us, definitely let me know. Let's see, where should we go for our last Rick Rollers, though? 
We haven't gotten the Wahoo. I kind of like stages though for Brick Rollers, so there's a little bit more cover and stuff. I like Inkblot, but it ends up in modes like this. It just ends up very campy. Let's go to Skipper, actually. Skipper can be campy sometimes, too, but at least a little bit bigger. More spread out. Even that you might go. But let's do one more before midnight goes here. You have school and basketball tomorrow. You may die. Oh, please don't die. We'll keep the teams the same. This will be our last round of Rick Rollers. And then Dodgeball. Unless a bunch of people leave. If we get down to like four or five people, then we, then we could do like Hide and Seek maybe, or we could do... Just wrap it up and do it the fashion show. Daniel, you gotta go to bed in an hour and a half. I don't know that we'll stream much longer than that. <laughs> I will still need to go to the bathroom and get more water. And breathe in air conditioning for a second. But I, got, I might need to get like a different monitor or something. I already have two monitors in my setup, but... For stuff like what we're doing today, where we're playing and... Um, watching something else, I really do need one more monitor. Because I have, like, gameplay up on one. And the other one is, like, all the stream stuff. I wish I could, like, turn my, uh... I'm not sure if everybody's here. Am I European? Uh, no. I am American. We have... Folks from all of the world here on stream, though. Mm, I'd say majority of people probably are in North America, U.S., and Canada. We've got, like, a pretty decent number of European and um, U.K. folks. We've got a few people from um, Asia that mostly pop in when I do, like, late-night Minecraft streams or something. Or just randomly for a Splatoon. The trades, the trades. With Skinkling, continue. <laughs> Remember, it's main only here. Just, uh, well, sorry, you got the, you got the Jumba meeting. You're in Central America, Daniel. Ah, very nice. Yeah, we, we do have a few people from South America as well. Um, Boni, who I don't think is with us in chat anymore for today, but they're here early. Oops. <laughs> midnight, I think midnight left us. Or it's just typing in chat. Daniel, you're dressed as Gramps from Anto Expansion. Now that I finally, finally finished, uh, ooh, that was a, I was just inking there. But Daniel happened to be sitting there. I finally finished story mode. And now I can actually play Octo Expansion. I think I'll probably play off stream. <laughs> Some people said they want to watch me play on stream. Those people have not watched me play single player games very much. 
<laughs> I do okay when I'm playing by myself, but I always, including um, multiplayer Splatoon and other multiplayer games, like I always play worse on stream because because I'm like distracted by chat and get nervous. But that's extra true in single player. <laughs> Early days of the channel, I did a like a Mario Galaxy playthrough. I think Blue Team won the rematch. It'd be round three of our epic series. Ooh, happy little double there though. Not a triple, but the close. GG's, GG's. Like I said, we will swap to, I think, some dodgeball. We have 7 and 9 for the yellow team. 13, 5th? No, 14, sorry. For the other team. GG's. GG's. Oh, somebody else left us. Hmm. Hmm. Depending on how many people. Oh, if Midnight is also going to leave us, uh, we might have to swap to a different game mode. Than just dodgeball. Dodgeball works better as like a 3v3. I would say. But hang tight. If you have a if you have a preference, the folks who are still left here in the lobby or folks watching if you want to join back in. Um anybody who's no, I'll stick my friend code and stuff in there. Because I haven't done that for a bit. I am gonna go take a quick little break for a couple minutes. Go grab some water go to the bathroom maybe grab a snack um and i'll be right back i'm gonna leave you though with some entertainment the one the only performing their hit rainbow anarchy which is a description of the inside of my brain <laughs> deep cut
Okay, we're back. Everybody give it up for Deep Cut. <laughs> Daniel, you're back too. And he's eating cereal. Yeah, I grabbed snack, some almonds, but I didn't really get to eat them, so. Inkling wants to know what kind of cereal. That's a good question. I'm just having plain almonds. Dried or roasted with salt, but I think we're asking about cereal. What's everybody's favorite cereal? I like, uh, what are those? Reese's Puffs? Those actually are vegan, too. Mm, a lot of bad-for-you sugary cereals are all vegan, because it's just, like, usually corn and flavors and sugar. <laughs> like Frosted Flakes? Vegan. Let's see, how many people we got in here? We just got four. I think we skipped dodgeball then. Dodgeball, we could try a round of it, but it's usually not super balanced when there's four. We could try it though. Maybe we go to... Muscle Orange? Daniel, you're eating honey bunches of oats? Okay, well, let's see here. We'll try some dodgeball. So that, that did have votes. Dodgeball. I'll pull up our dodgeball rules, but everyone should be good to go on the weapons and stuff. Here we got. Everybody's gonna pick the plain splatter shot or the hero shot for their weapons. Um, but you can only use the burst bombs on it, even to ink up the ground, so no main, no specials. That just makes it easier for us to um make sure everybody's picking the right weapon. So again, everybody should have the plain splatter shot for sure, since I think it's the first weapon everybody unlocks. But if you don't have that for some reason, then you absolutely have to pick something else that has burst bombs on it as the sub let us know must be a burst bomb though no other no splat bombs no suction bombs just burst bombs um and then same rules as at all our other games no stream sniping no squid bagging and no spawn or base camping daniel are you are you um are you not gonna play with us because you're eating cereal Daniel wants to know, milk, then cereal in the bowl, or cereal, and then milk? I usually do cereal, and then milk. So that way I know for sure, like, how much cereal they got in there. You're almost done, okay. We'll do a round, then, without you. Because we've been hanging out. Um... We'll keep these teams, I think. So everybody pick the plain splatter shot. Well, this one right here. Or the hero shot. Did I unlock the hero shot now that I finished hero mode? Or do I gotta finish? I don't know how that works. Again, pad splatuber. Don't play single player. <laughs> Just multiplayer all day. Everybody pick the plane splatter shot or the hero shot. You can again optimize gear here for this though. If you'd like.
can't remember what shoes are good for this. Better hurry up and figure it out though. I'm running out of time. So excited for the for the freshest fits, the like gear sets in Splatoon 3. So exciting. My outfit looks ridiculous, but it's it's functional. <laughs> You're back, Daniel. Okay. We'll get you in the next one. You finish the whole thing with only one weapon, and then Sheldon will sell it to you. Ah, so I gotta redo all those levels. Okay, so I don't remember if I said this or not, but it's only burst bombs even to ink up the ground. So no main, even just to ink up the ground. Part of this strategy here. Prison strategy is drop on my head. <laughs> oh, good girl. Good night. Are you AFK again? It's only a 2v2. If you're AFK, it's really not a <laughs> very fair matchup. If you do gotta go AFK, you can please let me know and I'll spectate you or we'll pick something else or do something else. One B two in here. If you're familiar with my gameplay, you know that's not gonna bode well for, for me. I think we they disconnected now. No. Well, we'll just play it out, or we can squid party. Blue Phoenix, on top of that, I'm 1v2, and if you cannot spawn a base camp, me too. <laughs> we might just have to wrap things up here. There's only three of us. Or we could do hide and seek, if y'all want to do hide and seek. Not sure where everybody went. Usually people leave at like five, but then they come at like back at like six-ish. Can you just sit here? Oh, that's right, that's right, okay. Guess we could do try one more match with Daniel. Super unbalanced. Midnight, you'll be back in. You left me. You abandoned me in my moment of need. I'm going to spectate you if you do come back. I think there's an uneven number, Midnight. And this is second or third time. You've been kind of AFK during your match. Yeah, 1v2 it did not work out for me. Let's pick a different map. I wouldn't even call it a battle between me and anybody. It's just me getting on camped and <laughs> 2v1. Let's. We were already here once, but let's go back to um, 
Mm, oh, you know what? Let's go here instead. Railway chillin'. Okay, and we'll all swap for the themes too. I'll stick at me with Zuri. Food kid with Stinkling. And Midnight, I'm gonna spike to you since you. You don't know when your mom calls you. It's okay. <laughs> It's just if you can let me know in chat, even if, you know, so that we can plan accordingly. Like, we could hang out for a minute, we could do something else, but if you just leave... <laughs> I understand, life happens. But if it's like a consistent thing where you're AFK or not really playing in the match, then it <laughs> becomes a problem. Because then it messes up the, um, the team bands. And that messes up the game for everybody. Trade with Octo Girl. <laughs> Somebody has better gear than I do. <laughs> They're throwing like five bombs. I can get one. And then you gotta go, no worries. Have a good one, and we'll see you soon. Tomorrow is gonna be a variety stream here on the main channel. I haven't decided yet if it's something I'm gonna pick. What we play, or you all are gonna vote. But one of those two things. <laughs> I might pick and do like a couple things. I would love to do some more. We did some Pokemon Unite before I left on my trip. There's a new Pokemon Unite map out, which is super fun. Where's the person at? <laughs> to take these things back. Can you not do it? Is it main only? Oh, happy little double! <laughs> we lost that, but... <laughs> Revenge at the end. GG's, GG's. Oh wait, we won. Zuri. And the double. At the end there, I think. Pushing us over the edge. GG's, GG's. Felt like I was just speeding the whole time, but... Maybe Zuri stayed alive and 
Midnight, you're going to be playing mostly on the weekends because of school and basketball. Yeah, it's, it's that time of year. People are back in school. We're doing all kinds of activities. Should we do some, um, should we do some Mind Mania? Although that match was super close. I would kind of like a rematch. We could do some Mind Mania. That one works, I think, better as a 2v2 than this does. Or we could just wrap things up and do the fashion show. You all let me know. What, what do you feel? What do you feel? Inkling wants to rotate weapons like everybody has the splatter shot, like meme teams. Everybody picks the same thing. The problem with that is not everybody has every weapon. And like, I can't check what I have. We do juggernaut. We could do juggernaut. That does work with four people. 1v3. I don't want to be the juggernaut though. I already was in that. I did with the juggernaut um dodgeball in the 1v2 match <laughs> not fun for me oops don't mean to be changing the ink i meant to change the stage juggernaut is um i think i have rules for it written down somewhere but Oh, whoops, I went to the wrong thing and turned off my audio. Um, basically, everybody against one person. Um, the way we've done it in the past is everybody else can only has some kind of restriction on what they can do, like no specials or something. I can't remember. Also, let me pull up the rules that we had written down. Oh, Daniel, you're, the version you've played is different than the one I played. Yeah, I can play the. I can show you the, what my rules are. We've only played my rules, I think, once or twice, but it was fun when we did it. So I have any weapon, any gear, attackers, subs, and main only. No specials allowed. Although I like kind of like the idea of, of bombs only. Um, and Juggernaut is uh, subs, main, and specials. And then like can be my bestie. I feel like actually the bombs only or subs only version would be maybe a little bit more balanced, but. Oops. Messing up my layout. We could try it. Who does anybody want to be the the juggernaut? Why does it have to be on tower control though? For the time? That part doesn't really make sense to me. Is it that you're playing a tower win? Oh, Juggernaut needs to win by doing tower win? Oh, that's hard. We just do usually, um, your screen froze? I also muted myself for a second, was it eating? 
I grabbed my bag of almonds, but I never got to eat them. That's why I probably shouldn't be eating these almonds. They're very crunchy. I'm still recovering from my wisdom teeth thing. Not really supposed to be eating super hard crunchy food, but... <laughs> I'm hungry, and it's all that I had. I think maybe, actually, let's do... Hmm... Why don't we try Mind Mania? Do a couple rounds of that, and then after that, I think I might wrap up with a fashion show. Slash a squid party. But I will write down that, um... I will write down your roles for Juggernaut, and I think those are... I think those are interesting take on things. So maybe we'll try that on a future stream. Daniel. But it doesn't seem like more people are coming back in here, so. <laughs> Do I stream every day? I stream most days. Um... But I'm, I have a regular schedule. Uh, my schedule for the next few weekends is a little bit weird. Usually I do stream on the weekends. I stream usually all day Saturday, all day Sunday as well. Um, But I'm gone the next couple weekends. So the schedule is a little bit different the next couple weeks than what it normally is. But normally I do Splatoon on Sundays. And then we've do been doing Splatoon on like Tuesday and Thursday as well. And then I do a couple variety streams, a and a Minecraft stream every week. This isn't what my normal schedule is, but stuff is different because Splatoon three launch, and because of my travel, <laughs> I was gone all last week, and I'm gone this weekend as well. Okay, let me see. Mind Mania rules. Everybody's going to pick any weapon they want with Ink Mines as the sub. You cannot use the main even to ink up the ground. Only Ink Mines and your special once you get it up. You can again optimize your gear to get that special up faster. As always, no spawn or race camping, no squid bagging, and no stream sniping. We're going to do it over on Manta Maria to start with. Let's see. I'm going to swap out these teams. I'm going to stick Zuri with Daniel. And I'll stick... Stingling with me. Okay. So again, everybody pick something with Ink Mine as the sub. Any special you would like. No main, even to ink up the ground. Mm-hmm. What do I go with? I've been buying more weapons. Trying. I pick stuff that I think will work here. And different mini games and stuff. I don't have all the weapons unlocked. I mostly play Splatoon here on uh on stream and it mostly. In PBs. So, like, never level. Also, we are going to do some um, level up together streams. My outfit looks absolutely weird, but hopefully useful. Mine and Splash on that, that's pretty strong. For sure. Because you can't Splash on cancel. 
with a mine. But, you know, other people could have, like, Inkjet or something and then Splash on cancel you. If they're good at that. <laughs> so, if you've not played this before... Again, it's ink mines only even to ink up the ground until you get your special up. Um, once you put down your third mine, the first one is going to pop. So that's how you can, can ink up the ground. You do have to, if you don't use ink mines a lot, you don't know how they work. You got to put them outside of the little ring of the one before it. It's kind of like, I call this one like Turf War in slow motion. The most splats is what determines the winner here. We only go to, um... We only go to... Encourage if we had a tie. Which sometimes this, this mode, especially with an Asolian 2v2, is kind of a low splat match, but... Ouch, ouch. Zuri getting me. But I call this Turf War in slow motion. Or like a real-time strategy game. I think the Wave Breaker is going to make this super fun too. I, th I hope that there's a weapon that has Ink Mine Wave Breaker. Make sure uh, off the guard that we're letting the blue team out of their base. Make sure we're not on our base camping them. You gotta go, Daniel. Are you disconnected? Oh no. We're gonna stay for the party though. We got a friend request. If whoever that is can give me a shout out in chat, let me know what's your Switch username. I'll accept you can get in the next match with us. Oh, the thing in the corner is wrong. We're not doing dodgeball. We're doing a mini game called Mine Mania. It's ink mines and specials only. At the moment, we're going to do a few rounds of this and then we're going to wrap up the stream with a squid party slash fashion show and... And then if there's enough of us, we could do a raid. I'm not sure if there's... Like, Tassiana might be lurking here still. Tassiana, if you are still here and just working or something, give me a shout out. Let me know. Or maybe you're playing Splat Zone still. <laughs> I'm not sure how many people are just lurking and how many people are... Like, lurking AFK or lurking like you're actually kind of here. <laughs> but just not actively chatting. Somebody use their special. That's allowed. Look, it's right here. You can only use ink mines in your special. We'll do one more round of that. And then we'll wrap it up. Well, we got a couple of friends here. We got Alex. Oh, we got Smaden. What? Is this a real Smaden? I don't think it is. 185 hours? That's a fake Smaden. <laughs> and we got Alex. Alex was here earlier. Alex must have unfriended us for some reason. I guess we'll add Alex back. You are still here, Tassiana. You're just suffering. Oh no. Suffering in Splat Zones or suffering... For your art. <laughs> or for, for homework, maybe. Let's see. A one last. Let's go to Schellendorf. We were there earlier, but... Did I change the rules or was it always like that? Mind Mania has almost always been like that. I think the very first one or two times we played it, it was just Ink Mines. But that one we did end up changing 
Um, that one and Silly Sprinklers both. We ended up changing to um, allow specials just because it's a little bit slow and low splat. Without, uh, without specials. Alejandro, you're back. Welcome back. You fell asleep? Oh, well, hopefully you had a good nap. Feel free to pop back in the lobby if you want. I was saying no one knows any teamwork. In splat zones, uh, but that's always rough. For sure, for sure. But, you know, the silver lining. You'll be able to queue with people you know starting Friday. Even if they're different ranks. What do you call... You have a joke, Daniel. What do you call a cow in an earthquake? Okay, caveat though. Even if you're telling a joke, make sure that it is family friendly and... um. <laughs> Kind and respectful to other people. Oh, it's a milkshake. Okay, that's pretty wholesome. <laughs> I never know. I Earlier, somebody was like, do you want to hear a joke? And it was not an appropriate joke. And I had to delete it and give them a warning. Um, Alex, you're in. Let's go. Okay, I'll sit out this one then. So we're doing, Alex, since you're just joining us again, I'll fill you in. We're doing a mini game called Mine Mania. Let me actually pick a different map now that I'm thinking it. We're just doing 2v2, so it's, uh, let's pick something a little smaller. Go to Inkblot. Um, okay, so everybody's going to pick a weapon with Ink Mines as the sub. It must have Ink Mines as a sub. You cannot use the main weapon. Main part of the weapon at all, though, even to ink up the ground, just ink mines. And once you get the special up, you can use the special, too. Um, as always, there's no spawner base camping. No squid begging. No stream sniping. What music do fish like? Something catchy. I don't know that the fish like to be caught. <laughs> Maybe something that would be something a fisher person like. A, yeah, a fisher person. That would be a gender neutral. Someone who likes fishing might like something catchy for their music. But I don't know that the fish likes to be caught. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. I'm going to put myself on spectate. Mm. Hopefully Alex, I can't remember what level Alex was. Well, let's, let's not, um. Let's not tell any jokes about, like, people's. Nationality or ethnicity or anything like that. Even though that one is relatively benign. The slippery slope there. Okay. So everybody pick a weapon with ink mine as the sub. But again, you cannot use the main. Even to get the ground, just ink mines and your special once you get it up. Make sure your teammates are picking the right weapon. Alejandro, what weapon do you use? Anything with ink mine. Hopefully you have it. <laughs> I called it out a few times before we started. The E leader has ink mine that I know. Of. 
Let's see what else does. Rapid Blaster, Dynamo, Inkbrush, Nouveau. Luna Blaster, Neo, Rapid Blaster. That's actually all the, the Ink Mine weapons. There's not a lot. What do you do if you don't have any? Hmm. Yes, we Squid Party? <laughs> I should have read that faster. I would have backed out. Can you observe from afar? Hmm. This is going to be an uneven match then, though. Can we party? Yeah. If you all want to party since um, we had the wrong weapon picked. That's fine. Maybe we just go to the, the fashion show. Squeed party. <laughs> Anybody have any theme ideas? We'll wrap things up after that. We got enough people. We'll also do a raid where we surprise another streamer in their chat. Which is super fun, so don't go anywhere if you... Once the stream ramps up. Luri's good party and it means hiding in. <laughs> I don't think you all are actually as good party. I think you're still actually playing. I'm not sure what's going on with my uh, browser. I can't hear any audio. Super weird. I'm gonna pick a fashion show a theme from my list of backup ones that people have suggested in the past. Because Anna, if you wanna wanna take a break from the splat zone suffering, <laughs> join us for the fashion show. I think a lot of these theme ideas are yours. Actually, I don't think this one is, though. Can, you, can I hear you, Alex? I, I can't hear you in-game, but I can see your chat message, yes? I just didn't have chat up for a sec. I was looking for someone for us to possibly raid. And I was also looking at my list of 
Um, fashion show themes. I think we're going to do... Let's do this one. Fashion show. Gamers gaming. Because that's what we are, right? <laughs> you could interpret the, that however you'd like. You could be the character from a game. You could be your own made-up character from your own game. If you don't have something that you think works. Um... And that could also be like a farming simulator game, like <laughs> Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing or something. You can interpret the theme very loosely if you'd like. Um, I will pick some ink colors though. Tatiana's gonna join us. Let's go. You love to see it. Brush racers. We're just going to do a fashion show. And then I'm going to wrap up the stream. <laughs> we are going to do a raid though. So don't go anywhere. Make sure you're hanging out for the raid. I got the raid ready to go too. So. Right after the fashion show wraps up. We'll do it. We do our fashion shows over on. MC Princess Diaries. Let me pick some different ink colors though. Gamers gaming. What colors do gamers gaming like? I wish we had, um, this is kind of purple and yellow, which is kind of the Splatoon 3 colors. We'll definitely all be gamers gaming with Splatoon 3 coming out. Alejandro, you appreciate me being a YouTuber. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate you all being here, hanging out with me. Miguel. Welcome, welcome. Yellow and blue. Let's, let's... The problem with that is that these are ones that we always do. They're not that different from the other ones. It's more purpley. Miguel, if you want to pop in here, we're doing a fashion show before we wrap up the stream. You want to add me really quick, though, if you're already in-game? Feel free. We'll hang out for a minute for our friend Miguel. You have to go to school tomorrow, Alondra. Ooh, is it your first day back at school? A lot of people start in school tomorrow. Miguel, you are going to add me. Okay, perfect. We'll hang out and wait for you. We're just doing a fashion show and then we're going to raid somebody. We do bestie. Oh, no, we're all done with Be My Bestie for today. But good news for you. We play Be My Bestie on almost every single Splatoon stream. At least a couple times a week we play Be My Bestie. It's one of the most popular things we do on stream. So, we'll definitely play it again soon if you didn't get a chance to be the bestie today. Alex, I think you left before it was your turn. We don't, it doesn't really work with this number of people, which is part of the reason why we're wrapping up too. <laughs> I think this is Miguel here. Would you be a knight? Yeah, you can do what be whatever you want. Use use your the power of your imagination. Big Smaden, if you're here and want to, uh, or if it's a real Smaden, I guess. <laughs> I don't think it is though. With only two hundred hours of Splatoon two. Lobby code is five six seven eight for our new friend Miguel. To get in here. If folks have a reference for ink color, yellow or purple. Shout it out while we're waiting. I'm gonna go purple, obviously. I said I'm going yellow. Mm. 
Zuri purple. Oh no, toss it into to disconnect. Can you join the raid? Yeah, anybody can join the raid. Just, we're gonna stick a link in chat to where to go. We all just click the link. And then we use a special hashtag over in the other streamers chat. Let them know where you came from. Surprise them. Oops. I accidentally deleted my, uh, my link to the other stream. I copy and pasted the fashion show theme instead. Gotta fix that. We'll see any other color requests before we today hates you. Oh no. I'm sorry, Tassiano. You did disconnect. You changed your name to Gogi. Am I gonna be streaming tomorrow? I will be streaming tomorrow. We're not gonna be playing Splatoon tomorrow. I think we'll be playing Splatoon again on Thursday or Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week though. Thursday, I am getting Splatoon 3 early by one day. We're going to be playing multiplayer only. No story spoilers. Oh, Pancake Cookie, welcome back. We're already past the point of no return, so you can't join us for the fashion show, Pancake Cookie, but you're welcome to hang out and watch. We're going to do a raid at the end as well. Okay, don't see any other color requests, so I think we just leave everybody else on random colors. We'll let fate decide. Let's see, we're gamers gaming. Gamers gaming. I gotta have a Splattershot Pro, obviously, if I'm a gamer gaming. Ooh, I got these new Hero headphone replicas, because I'm a gamer gaming. I finished Octo Expansion, finally. I think that's what I'll do. I'll wear all my hero gear. I just got it. His boots are a little big for this outfit, though. Is that... <laughs> Wait, there's extra shorts? How did I not know this? I never scrolled that far. I think I need these ones. I need, I'm a gamer gaming. I need, I need movement. <laughs> I think I need these comfy shoes, though, <laughs> instead of the other ones. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh good. Uh, uh, my purple hair roll. I picked purple ink, so it's going to go very nice with these. Let me see. Let me peek at the weapons one more time, see if I want to maybe swap out the one. Oh, you know what? I definitely do. I gotta go. Gotta go. With an NZ. <laughs> Make it an orange one just because it's funner colors. Since we're gamers gaming <laughs> with our OG NES and Zap. Okay, so the way that this works, everybody, our fashion show and squid parties are non violent. We've been battling out all stream long. So this is not the time to splat each other. This is time for us to giggle, to wiggle. To dance, to jump, to spin, to squiggle. I don't know what that squiggle is in this game, but you can use your imagination. Um, so if everybody can come to the middle, line up on the platforms here. I'll check out your outfits, give some color commentary, and then we can just squid party the rest of the time. We've got Zuri here. Ooh, the pixel art. Matching shoes. Ooh, I love the, the purple hair with that orange. Really pops. We got Alex here with a silver knight outfit. Very nice silver arrow spray to match. Definitely a gamer gaming. <laughs> I'm not sure who's who over here. But we got someone else with an end zap. Dressed all in black. A, a, a gamer ass assassin with the end zap. And then over here is something 
Somebody else gaming with some comfy, cozy sandals. <laughs> they want to be comfortable and they need their feet to breathe while they're gaming. Oh, they're dancing while they're gaming. Okay. <laughs> I can't see the rest of the alpha, but I think they had a cozy, comfy sweater on it as well. They, they maybe, maybe it's not as hot in their gaming room as it is in mine. <laughs> I think I got everybody. There's just a few of us. Well, imagine what Tassiana would be wearing. I'm gonna say Afro Puff, um, brush, and all the Octo expansion gear, maybe? Because Tassiana is definitely a gamer who games. <laughs> Thanks everybody so much for hanging out. I'll, I'll stick a link in chat here for our raid. We're gonna raid Hyper Tiger. Let me reload really quick and make sure they're actually still live. I think they are though. They're doing PBs, I believe, with viewers and another streamer. And they says that they are family friendly also with no swearing or anything um, in their chat description. So everybody wants to go show them some love. Participate in our raid. Surprise another streamer. Go use the hashtag happy little raid over there in chat to let them know where you came from. And I'll be back tomorrow with a variety stream here and some Fortnite over on the second channel after. And then we got lots of Splatoon coming the rest of the week with the launch of Splatoon 3. Oh my goodness, so exciting. So thanks everybody for hanging out. we do a brush race before we're gonna go? We gotta go! Oh, maybe we could try it next time. Go for a swim here at the end. Because it is tradition. Okay, everybody. Go click that link. Go use the hashtag happy little raid over in their chat. And we will talk to you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.